Welcome, YouTube! Bada bing, bada boom! We're playing some Power Wash. It's been a minute. So there's um there's there's these two DLCs, Tomb Raider and Midgar. Mid, I don't know if it's said like that, but yeah. And then there's these three that I just never did. They're bonus jobs, and I just never did them. So I say we start with the DLC. Um, let's start with Midgar because I think that was the the first one, or was it Tomb Raider? Let's do Tomb Raider first. It's first on the list. Um. Only 400, huh? Um, but we're going to try to get through these two DLC, and if we have time, we'll do the bonus jobs. If not, maybe we can do that another time, because honestly, I love this game. It's been so long since I played it. I've been requested by my esteemed employer, Miss Laura Croft, to commission a cleaner for the exterior of her residence, Croft Manor, and have acquired your details from, from a mutual friend. She's soon to host a charity fundraiser, blah, 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 fundraiser for artifact reparation... Re repatriation, okay, and wishes for the big words, wishes for the manner to be looking tip top for all of her esteemed international guests. As you'll no doubt discover from the old buffed brick here and there, I've attempted the task myself, but to no avail. It's simply beyond my advanced years. Advancing years. Please note, the roof has only recently been retiled and won't require any of your attention. Thank you. Thank God. I like how they did that so I wouldn't have to go up there. Thanks, guys. Ms. Croft is currently recuperating in Egypt after being set upon, but will be back soon. Get your give your handiwork the once over. Let's get started. I have never played a Tomb Raider game in my life, so I don't know. But I know Laura Croft. All right, we haven't played this game in ages. Ha! Oh, remember that sound? Yeah. I trust you have everything you need to begin work. I'll be sure to furnish you with tea and biscuits just as soon as I escape a minor predicament. Winston Smith. I'm sure that you guys who play the games know what that means what's the button to uh there it is you can see all the dirt and stuff yeah i'm sure that some of you guys like already know the games and like uh know the story behind like winston and it's nothing to worry about by the way yeah thanks for letting me know i did not care and i did not ask miss craft likes to set me challenges from time to time otherwise one can get rather dull um for some reason tomb raider tomb raider reminds me a lot of assassin's creed like because i was i've been playing the first one uh, off stream, I I have mentioned uh, potentially streaming number four to uh, with you guys, uh, but one one and three I have, and I might buy two because I mean if I'm gonna play one through three, why not? <laughs> like if I'm gonna play one through four, why not just get the second one? It's the only one I don't own. So um, so yeah, I I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to decide because like, I think some of them are kind of old, but I think four has always been like, from my knowledge, it's one that people like a lot. So, um, could be, could be fun. Oh, I can turn it on perpetually. I'm trying not to hit the show dirt button too much, because when I played, uh, back in the day, when I was, like, actually trying to finish this game, by the way, let's just, let me just show you guys, 100 percented this game. Incredible. Um, that was my 2020, 2022 game of the year, I think. Um, <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> I already got distracted, as always. How do I... Oh, okay, that's how I do that. Oh, and I can change the uh, extensions here. No, but there's another way. Oh, that way, okay. I can, like, go through them. Interesting. Okay, um, oops. What are these nozzles? Hang on. I gotta remember what all the buttons do. Uh, X, there it is. X gives you all these, and Y gives you the nozzles. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I think... Four. I'm tired and probably can't stay, so I'll head out early. Have fun, though. Thank you for dropping in, Fanny. Have a good night. Um, Yeah, I'm going to probably be streaming for the next, like, four hours, so we'll see who hops in. But, um, yeah, I think Assassin's Creed 4 was one that people really liked a lot. So I think that would be, like, a good one to... Uh, there we go. Planner cleaned. That would be a good one to try to beat on stream. I think you guys will like that a lot more. Um... But yeah, so we obviously did the Minecraft stream yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. I love Minecraft. I was very tired yesterday. I don't know if you guys could tell. Um, I actually ate dinner today because, like, I'm currently home alone, so I've been very bad about eating dinner. Can we move this out of the way? Let's just let's just get you somewhere else. Um, I've been very bad about like eating dinner properly because I just like there's just so much stuff to do. Like, I it's crazy. It's like I have like college and stuff. Like, I can't I can't remember to do all that. Um, it's gonna be interesting trying to live on my own when I when I move out, but um, but yeah. So um, I think I didn't eat much yesterday, so I was like hella tired. But today, my aunt, my sweet aunt, very kind of her, brought some food for me. So um, yeah, 
I had a good dinner, some pasta. But yeah, so Minecraft was fun. Um, I definitely, I can't wait for next week. I've already been thinking of stuff to do. Uh, for example, I was looking at um, at farms for the raid farm because we have a pillager outpost. If no one, if you guys didn't watch it, basically, I started a bedrock series. It's hardcore mode until we die, and then it's just hard mode. That's how we're going about it. So um, until we die, it's officially hardcore. Uh, after that, <laughs> it's just a normal world. We're calling it the Rat SSP. Ooh, nice! I got one cleaned. We're calling it the Rat SSP, a uh, Rat Survival single player. Because um, we might invite other people sometimes if they have Bedrock and feel like playing. But I don't think we're going to do it too much. It's a mostly just me game. so uh, Or stream. Because I've been streaming so much with like Ellie and Roth and, like, and people. Like I got to do some of my own stuff, you know? So um, so yeah, we started that. We made a base that's like ne right next to a pillager outpost. And I'm not that pressed about making a farm yet. But the problem is like I've got... Um, I, like, I'm going to have pillagers, like, on me constantly if I don't do something about them. So I'm thinking I, um, if I don't make a farm, I at least, like, kind of just make a kill chamber for them. Even if I don't collect the loot or make it in a way that's collectible. Like, even if I just put a bucket of lava. Because what I learned, so I watched, okay. So if you guys know Bedrock, I think Silent Whisper used to be, like, the farm guy. He might still be, I don't know. But there's this guy, JC Plays, that's, like been really picking it up on the farming scene for bedrock uh because all of his farms like all of his videos are super super detailed like if you struggle to understand instructions or like struggle to like understand the normal way people that make tutorial videos make them jc plays has like really easy to follow ones like he goes above and beyond with the detail so um so i was i was watching uh one of those videos and, um, I think we should go a little bit longer. Uh, what I, what I learned was in a outpost, some pillagers will, will spawn outside and then some pillagers will spawn in one specific block at the top level of the outpost. So if you just put a bunch of leaves outside the, um, the outpost, then they can't spawn out there. And then if you just put glass panes in the area of, um, the upper level, you can figure out exactly where they spawn and then just make a little kill chamber there. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I, did, I just watched a video before stream today. I was like, what's the best way to go about it? Because like, I'm not sure if I want to make a raid farm yet. Because also, we have a village very close by, so I'd have to move that village like probably 100 blocks away or something. I think you have to move it pretty far away. So, you know, I was trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. But I think the best play is at least, if I don't turn it into a farm, at least try to, you know, um, kill off all the pillagers there so that they can't kill me first. Because again, we are in hardcore until we're not. Uh, and I think we could potentially just like go in, put some leaves, then leave while everything despawns, go in, put leaves, keep doing that, and just play that little game. Um, probably not next week. I think next week for Minecraft, I want to do... Uh, a bit of adventuring and mining. Maybe not adventuring. I don't want to go too far out because I don't have a map and I don't feel like remembering chords. Like, that's the most boring thing in the world to me is looking at a bunch of numbers. Like, why would I just look at numbers? I'm playing a game. So, um, yeah. We're going to probably uh, probably not do that. But we'll see. There's a lot of stuff that we can do. I, I think we should go mining and get some diamonds and things because we don't have any yet. Like, we've not gone mining at all. We just got some iron from a village, and that's about it. We could also go adventuring into the ocean that's near us and try to get, um, what do you call it? <laughs> uh, uh, shipwrecks, that's it. And then buried treasure. Dude, my favorite, whenever I start playing a game of Minecraft, I didn't do it this time for some reason, but, like, I so often will just, like, ever since the buried treasure got in introduced, that's, like, my favorite thing, is just going, starting the game, Immediately looking for a shipwreck, finding a buried treasure map, getting buried treasure. Immediate, like, two diamonds. Maybe, a, I think you always get a heart of the sea. And then, like, I'm always just set. Like, then when I need the conduit, I can get that pretty easily. Like, then I just need to find a thingy. What do you call it? Prismarine place? <laughs> What's it called? Water temple? Um. But, yeah. It's, uh... It's, it's, I don't know. It's one of my favorite things in the game. It's one of the, my favorite things that they've added is the, uh, 
like, hey, you can uh, just go searching in the ships and find cool stuff. But I don't know. I, I gotta see what I want to do for next stream, because, like, the thing is, mining is so boring. <laughs> like, I know they added a Caves and Cliffs update and stuff, but, like, no one's really played Minecraft with all the recent updates. They've not really cared about the new updates. I think that's for a reason. I think it's that mining's just always going to be kind of boring. Like, there's not much you can do about it. Is this all the buttress? Yeah, it is. I don't know what a buttress means, so I'm just going to, like, you know, assume. <laughs> I just got to figure it out based on the top left telling me how much. There's so many big words, like, Quinn. Like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I assume it's just this, yeah, it's just like the little stone part. Um, I love Power Wash. It's literally just a game where I can just sit here and like essentially just do a podcast. <laughs> like I just get to sit and vibe and like clean <laughs> and talk to you guys. Um, yeah, this is one, this is easily one of my favorite games of all time. I'm never going to get a tattoo of it. It's not that kind of favorite game. Like it's not Celeste level, but um in terms of how much fun it is, easily one of my favorites. There's a couple other games I want to start. I think I should... Did I get this window frame? I didn't. I should go back and do that. Um, some A couple games I want to stream. So, like, okay. I bought Hades and Spiritfarer, um, two games, at the same time. I got them, at, like, during the same sale. And I had, like, some gift cards, like, rewards points and stuff. So, um... So both of those games, I kind of see as games I got to play at the same time for some reason. So I just haven't been playing either. But I think I want to play both of them. Hades is a game that you guys have already kind of shown that you aren't a fan of necessarily for stream. Um, I think it could be fun to play in my Discord at least. But like, okay, I do have to get like this arch. Um, I do have to get this arch too, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think you guys are fa seem to be a fan of Hades for stream. But... I think it would be fun to play, uh, like, in my Discord, maybe. Where is there a ladder here? Step, step ladder. Where's the ladder? Normally, they have one. They might not have put one here because they have this guy. So, I guess I'll just use this. I normally don't use this thing. I don't like it. <laughs> it's ugly, and it's annoying. <sighs> and trying to run up it is annoying. I also think they turned down my sensitivity. I, uninst I uninstalled this game because I haven't been playing, obviously, because I finished it. I think we got to make this sensitivity go up. Let's just turn it all the way up. There's no way that's it, is it? Is that the same thing? That is controller sensitivity. All right. I guess it is the same thing. Oh, well. Oh my gosh, there's so much to clean. Maybe I just do the entire lower level first, right? That's probably the best play, I think. Uh, the only thing is, I want to just get this wall done, because I was so close to finishing it earlier. <laughs> Here we go, come on. So close. Oh, there it is. See a bit of you? There we go. Alright. I say, yeah, let's just get this entire lower level done, and then we can, and like anything we can see from the lower, from underneath, like this stuff, we get all of this done, and then we should be good to go with um, the next thing. I think we gotta switch to red. We have every single nozzle and everything, which is nice. Like, we're kind of stacked. Because we have finished the entire story of this game. Because I literally played this for a hundred hours in 2022. Hundred hours and hundred percented. Which is one of my favorite little, uh, <laughs> little things. It was a perfect amount of game time, I think. <laughs> I don't think I've really poured a hundred hours into many games that are single player. I mean, this isn't necessarily single player, but like, you know, it's got like a story and stuff. It's not like something that's replayable. Like, Fortnite Fall Guys easily put in over 100 hours, like way over. Um, speaking of, I think there's new weeklies out because I think there's a glitch and they made two weeklies accidentally. Um, so I think I got to play that game. <laughs> I got to play Fall Guys. Season's almost over. Apparently, there's a leaker who has said what when it's over, but I don't know if I want to spoil it for people who care. But, um, 
season's gonna be over in the next like couple weeks or so so um i'm trying to just get through all the last challenges and get to tier 200 apparently they made triple fame already so like easily gonna get tier 200 but um i gotta do that maybe i'll do a i don't know would a fall guy stream be fun i feel like there's nothing new right now and they they've been very bad about like you know like so many of their maps are gone like it's just not the same Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft. It's just not the same uh, Fall Guys that was before. So I'm thinking maybe I wait for the new season, and that might be good enough to like, you know, bring back some of the growth that they kind of lost. I don't know. I'll think about it. It's a fun game. I still play like a decent amount, but Ellie and I have been playing a lot more Fortnite and Roth. Sometimes AF as well. Uh, where is this last bit? Okay. This this is obviously not connected, but this one part down here, the Quinn, it's it's just got like a little bit more, and I don't know where it is. Is it like in the ridges? Yeah, it is. I hope this will give me enough. There it is. Um, yeah, I don't even know why I bothered clicking it again. Obviously, there's just a ton of dirt here. Um, yeah, this is gonna take a while to um to get through because of all these little ridges. But ten percent in. About 15 minutes? That's not bad. I think we can get through both DLCs at least today. I don't know about the extra jobs. I've done one extra job for an achievement. Um, the Mars Rover one. Um, I didn't stream much Power Wash, I don't think. Yeah, I think I only streamed like two streams on Power Wash. I streamed the ending for you guys. But most of it, I just would hop and call with like Scrub or whoever. And I just play it while we we're talking. Because I think this was back when like... Was it summer? Might have been summer. Might have been quarantine. Was it quarantine? 2022 would not be quarantine. Unless it was 2021 that I play this. Oh my gosh. Dude, my my uh, sense of time is completely messed up. If it was 2021, that <laughs> that's pretty bad that I didn't realize that. But, um... Sorry, let me just check something real quick. Okay. I know no one hydrated me. I just need water. <laughs> yeah, if it was 2021, because I remember, I feel like I remember playing this game when we were in quarantine and like when class was in session and I would just skip class or like do whatever. Um, I realized that's a trend of me st skipping classes. I don't think I've gone to one this week. No, I haven't. I haven't. Wow, I'm such a good college student. I have not gone to a single class this week. Nothing new for me, but, like, dang. Really worth the money we're paying to go here. I mean, I'm still passing, but, like, Jesus. Not going to a single one this week yet is kind of bad. Oh, it's Tuesday. What am I talking about? Gosh, I thought it was, like, Thursday already. And then I remembered that normally I do stream with Ellie on Thursday. We have to do uh, Operation Tango. And tomorrow, we're playing Duck Game. Which, I think I've played once on, like, a friend's laptop when I was younger. A little younger. <laughs> Not, like, way younger, but, um... Young enough to see myself as young, you know? So, probably, like, two or three years. Um, it's like a fighting game. I think it's a lot like, uh, Stick Fight. Which is, like, a very fun game, so... I think Duck Game will be fun. I think we've got, um... Roth, Ellie, and... Bondismo, Bond, uh, who you guys might know. Yo, what's up, Treble? Flies in and bonks into the freshly washed window. That's an interesting coming to chat message. I love it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys know Bond. I He's been in a, a stream. Oh, nice. He's been in a stream with uh, me and Ellie, but I don't know if it was only on Ellie's channel. Because sometimes with Fall Guys, I just feel like just playing. So then I, I, I just let Ellie stream and I just vibe and play. So, I'm not 100% sure, but, um, how you doing, Trouble? Welcome. But yeah, I, uh, I, regardless, uh, Bond is a very funny dude. Gonna be a lot of fun to have him on a stream for the first time in a while, if not ever. Uh, and then, obviously, you guys know Roth and Ellie, so. It's gonna be a good stream tomorrow. And then, uh. I am going to roast the crap out of Ellie on Thursday. 
Because if I do well as a hacker in Operation Tango, if you guys missed last Thursday's stream, we played this game. I was the agent, he was the hacker. Um, so I needed his help. I needed his information a lot of the time to um, beat puzzles and such. So uh, he would very often just not give me information, like vital information that I needed. Uh, and I roast him a lot for it. So now we're switching roles this week. And we're playing it again completely through because we finished the entire thing in one stream. And if the same, if if I'm able to give him information that he couldn't give me, he is going to get so much crap for it. I cannot wait. It was very funny though. It was a very funny stream. I had a lot of fun playing that game. Can we just finish off this archway without going up? We might have to go up. I really don't like this thing. <laughs> it's so annoying. There we go. There we go. That gives us that. And now, now just the archway. Oh, it's like... I might need a... Um, slightly smaller nozzle. There we go. Um, Alright, we're doing pretty well. 13%. And I think there's a window here. Yeah, there we go. I think that's everything done. Oh, wait. I saw something. Door handles. Okay. We can do that. Um, oops. Trying to figure out which button was the, uh, get up button. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. I'm making some progress. I love this game so much. It's so satisfying. I literally, like, I can just sit here. Hang on. Let me just adjust my chair properly. There we go. I can literally just sit here and play and, like, talk. And I could probably do that for hours on end. I love talking, guys. I love not shutting up. I love it. Um, This game is so mindless. Sometimes they can suck me in for hours, and sometimes I don't even have the patience for 10 minutes. Yeah. No, you're right. Like, I don't I don't understand. For some reason, like, um, for some reason, this game really got me. Like, when I would watch it, I, I watched it uh, on... I can't even remember whose channel. I watched it on someone's channel got insanely bored i was like man why is this game such a big hit then i see it on game pass i look through the achievements and there's no achievements some games i think they know that there's like achievement hunters out there and so they make achievements that are meant to like suck you in to force you to 100 percent them like um you know i'll explain later I, there, I have stories of that but um there's no achievements that were gonna force me to play for longer if i didn't like it so I was like, forget it. I'll download it. I'll give it a try. If I don't like it, I'll just stop playing before the achievement pops so that I don't feel forced to finish it. And then I just played and I was like, I love this game. I could not stand watching it, but I loved playing it. Uh, and then I just suddenly sunk, sank in like 100 hours and finished it completely. And uh, I don't know. I didn't expect to do all that, you know? Because that's like, for a game like this, I don't know. But then I watched uh, I watched Markiplier afterwards, recently, and I think I liked his more because he did like kind of a... I didn't watch his playthrough, but I've been watching like his Power Wash Pals videos, and um, I like those, you know? Those are a lot more fun because it's essentially what this is, which is just people talking, and it's like I'm not really watching for the gameplay. The Like the nice washing noises are kind of just background and watching the cleaning is just kind of background but like i can kind of do my own thing and listen and not have to uh focus too heavily on what they're doing visually those are fun just here to chill and vibe and chat yeah exactly yeah yeah this is this is just a genuinely really good game but you know, it's kind of crazy how much it blew up considering it's really not a game for streamers. Like, you can stream it, obviously, and I am. I, more like, it's not a game for YouTubers, I'd say. You know, like, some games are clearly made like they're, like, poppy, like, Hi-Fi Rush. Like, it's poppy, it's got the music, it's got, like, the vibes, it's copyright-free. Like, if you turn on streamer mode so you can kind of chill uh, and relax and enjoy the game. And then you have, like, uh, games like this, which is, like, it's very slow. It's... Not necessarily realistic, like, you know, everything looks very pretty and vibrant, so, after you clean, which is obviously meant to help it be a game as opposed to just a boring, like, nothing. Um, but yeah, like, overall, it's not really a game for, like, YouTubers, I'd say, but, you know, still blew up, 
which I always love seeing when games blow up, even though no one's really streaming it or like it's not really made for like streaming or whatever. That's kind of my, what my art streams are. I just I'm just drawing and most of the content is from chatting, except for when I get super focused. No, I get that. I've tried to art stream in the past. I get that. It's it's fun. I've been tempted to try it again, but I'm a little bit like I'm I'm very self conscious when it comes to art. <laughs> I I always feel like my hands just don't work how I want them to. And I just don't feel like feeling rushed. Like, I just, I can't talk and like do art. I don't know. What's up, Penguin? Welcome, bro. We are cleaning Lara Croft's mansion right now. Croft Manor. But yeah, I, um, I've tried an art stream in the past and I don't think it came out how I wanted. And then like, I also just have that thing of like, I can do it for like an hour maybe, maybe not even, and then I get bored and then I'm like, okay, I gotta do something else. But if I'm streaming, then I can't go do something else. I just gotta sit here and continue. So then I was just like, I just stopped. I like, I didn't try another art stream. I know the feeling is taking a lot of making myself do it over, do it to get over the feeling of my art isn't good enough. And I still struggle. Yeah, see, that's the thing, right? Like, I don't know, art's just a, uh, like, we as a society are just, like, so, like, ingrained with, oh, art has to be, like, this whole thing. It's just meant to be fun. I think after I get over that thing of it has to be good and I just make it fun for myself, I will, uh, I'll really fall in love with it more. Um. Because, like, even with AI art, it's become, like, a thing of, like, we could be using this tech that's made to do math to do math-based jobs and have more time for creative stuff and stuff like that. But uh, no, we're trying to use it to do art for some reason. Um, which I'm fine with because I'm going into a coding field. There's already AI out there to do to just make code for me. So if I really want to, I'll just do that. Easy. If I understand the code, I just make the code with the AI. AI then I just look through it, make sure I understand everything that's happening, make sure it's working as optimized as possible. Boom. Done. Easy. You know? I'm fine with it. If they don't, like, you know what? If we're not going to replace these jobs with AI, I'll use it regardless. I'll make money based off doing nothing, and I can just relax. Which, then again, that's what CompSci has always been, I think. It's very much like, unless you're, like, in a gaming field. If you're just, like, in IT and stuff, it's just like, yeah, we just make money off of chilling. <laughs> I just finished mopping and sweeping the kitchen. Yo, congrats! I got to do some cleaning up myself. I honestly might have to pull up uh, all nighter tonight. I need to get a bunch of homework done. I need to clean up around the house. Um, and normally I eat after stream anyway, so I can't like sleep right away. Cause like, if you see me, you might, oh no. Thankfully the, cam the webcam is blocking it, but there's like been a bunch of mess on that side of the room for a long time. Like. At least a week. I think it's been more. I know ever since my parents left uh, for uh, India, it's been it's been like that. Let's clean some of this. Uh, coding is my enemy. I am a, a I am a CS major, so I I have to like get used to it. But if I understand the code, then you know, um, it's easy. It's good if I can just get the AI to do it. Cause like. I already found multiple reels telling me of a specific AI that'll do it for me. So if I can use that to get my assignments done stuff, easy. I'll do it. Because at the end of the day, why learn code and like learn all this stuff when we all know AI is going to take over? It's like back in the day when they didn't let us use calculators because, oh, or you won't have a calculator in your pocket at all times. Yeah, you will. You do now. So <laughs> like there's, you know, no point in like learning, uh, I mean, you should learn arithmetic because it's got, like, other things. But, like, you know, if you were just going into... If you knew you are going into a field that, like, you don't really have to do, like, crazy calculations and you can just do it on a calculator, what's the point? What's the point of learning? Other than, obviously, wanting to learn. But our system is not made for us to want to learn. If we wanted to learn, I don't know, things would be a lot different. <laughs> uh, I can't hear you now, but you guys set up closed captions for your stream. I'll see you in the link we need to do it. Okay, I will do it. Can you understand this? Can you understand this, Ellie? <laughs> um, make sure to take care of yourself as well, getting stuff done. Trouble, I 100% I will, I swear. I, I might pull one all-nighter tonight, but I think after that, hopefully I'll be like caught up again. Um, 
What's up, Ashley? How you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome to stream. We're playing Power Wash Simulator. We're cleaning Lara Croft's mansion. Perhaps it might be judicious to say a few pertinent points while you used to work. Oh my gosh, is this guy like Alfred? Is this guy like the Alfred of the game? Like, of uh, Tomb Raider? Because I'm just not a Tomb Raider person. Student of Concern much? Guys, that's my RA, so she's like calling me out because technically I'm not supposed to be pulling all-nighters and stuff. Miss Croft is a quite extraordinary woman. So I've heard. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be pulling all-nighters, but like... It makes things so much easier when I do. I try not to too much. I think the first time I ever did was for that video that I posted. Which, by the way, go check out my YouTube channel if you want to watch it. It's already at like... I think... Did it get to 80 views? I think it's at like 70. Let's check. 79! So go watch it. Get us to 80. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm proud of it, but that's the only thing I've uh, pulled an all-nighter. That's that's the only thing I've pulled an all-nighter for in um, ever in my life. If you excel, you meet with her generous side. If not, well, she has it. Okay, she has something, something. <laughs> uh, I'm your best friend and RA. I don't know what you're talking about, dog. I have better friends than you. <laughs> no, she's chill. I guess. I, um, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I would not recommend pulling all nighters if you're like watching this and you're like, oh, Ari's pulling all nighter. I should do that. Don't, <laughs> don't try not to. I only have to because I have like a ton of work. I saved you from a killer clown. That's true. I think I told you, have I told you guys that story? In, in my first like month of being at campus, um, I got, threatened by someone and they threatened to stab me to death they told their family that they were gonna stab me to, th to death and then uh the day we got that text like the day that like for some reason that person sent us the text of like sent me and my friends the text of like oh look at what i said a couple months ago isn't that crazy and then that same day they um they came to my campus like because our like college campus is split into five different or like four or five different like districts i guess so, is cursing not allowed on here? No, it is. You're good. <laughs> I I uh, I don't curse too much, like, in my mic, because um, sometimes, like, uh, I don't know. Mostly, I'm trying to get used to it, because I stream with Ellie a lot. But, um, you know, I don't really care if anyone curses in chat. Um, but yeah, so, this guy comes to my, like, district, essentially, and, um dressed in a like clown costume and it was like really freaky and i had to lock my door and didn't even leave to go take a shower or anything until everything was resolved and then i took a shower and then i went home and i didn't come back for like the weekend um i was actually gonna post an animation i, I wanted to make a little animated story time type thing about it because i think it should tell you guys like i think it's a very important life's lesson about how quick everything changes from being like you know goofy silly high school times where things are like still difficult but it's not like it's not too real because you are you know living with your family and all that and like you know you've been with the same people for like essentially all your life mostly um or at least the last couple of years at least but then you go to college and it's like completely different like everything's different like the culture is different the like, you know, like, for example, our school, like, I think most, uh, the game said that. Oh, did the game have colorful language? Gotcha. Um, our school, and I think most colleges are very, like, um, like, they're passionate about football. But, like, my high school never gave a shit because we sucked at football. Like, we were the worst. I don't think we ever won. I went once to a game and I was like, this sucks. Like, why are we so bad? And our college is not good either, but, like, we still win a couple games. Like, we're not, like, the last in the league ever. Um, like, we always beat Temple, that's for sure. Uh, I know that that's one college that we always beat. So, um, I've, I've already said the name of the college multiple times, so I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah. Like, um, my point being, sorry, I just lost track, as is as I always do. My point being, 
the culture is so different where like everybody cares about different things and everyone like gets brought together by different things like the the standard high school cliques that you have are not the same anymore like I, my friend group is like all different types of people uh and it's just like i think that's that's why i wanted to make like an, an animated story time about that time what's up girl hulk you haven't been to one of these in a while no you haven't uh welcome we are um almost 25 percent through cleaning the croft manor Lara Croft mansion it's one of the dlcs for power wash but yeah I always thought it'd be cool to make, like, a animated story time about that time, that experience, just to tell you guys how, like, interesting college can get. Because it is very, uh... It's, it's, a, it's a scary place sometimes. But it's also a very nice place. Like, I'm not trying to scare people away from going to college. I think there's a lot of beautiful stuff there. It's just, uh... There's also a lot of stuff you gotta watch out for, like, anywhere in life. Unlike high school, where... People can be crappy, and there can be a lot of really bad stuff that goes on there. But even with how bad my school was, it wasn't as bad as college could get, you know? College just gets real. Alright, let's see if we can get this arch. I really don't like having to try to get this arch. It's really annoying. There we go. I think that should be everything done. Nope. There is a little bit of manor wall left there. I think generally, if I just try to get the edges, it'll give it to me. There it is. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so what I was talking about earlier of, like, getting, uh, like, achievements in games being made to kind of, like, <laughs> force you to play. One of them is Overcooked. And that one pisses me off in every way. Because right now, my, uh, my uh, gamer score at the top right, you guys can't even see that, can you? Uh, let me see if I can just... Real quick, real quick, uh, do that. There we go. If you see that at the top right, seven seventy eight thousand two hundred sixteen. 78,216, right? Now, the problem with that, that's not a multiple of five. Okay, so, uh, wait, I want bits. What's that mean? How do I get those? You can, oh, it's dinner time? All right, Trouble, thanks for dropping by. Have some, have a good dinner. Uh, Ashley, you can get those by either watching ads or paying for them. That's how you, like, donate to me. You can donate with bits. It's pretty cool. Or you can sub. If you have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Twitch, get Twitch Prime, and you can give me a free sub, or any streamer that you watch, a free sub. And that's, like, your way of showing support. It's a subscription. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, Twitch Prime, that's crazy, yeah. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. This is getting elaborate. It's really not. You can also pay $5 for a sub, and that will give me some of that money. Um, but yeah, so... Um, or you can just do none of it. You can also just watch for free. Literally, like... <laughs> I'd say most people do that, and that's totally fine. Um, you'll just get ads sometimes. But yeah, overcooked... <laughs> overcooked? Overcooked? Oh, damn, I'm so overcooked right now. Um... <laughs> Can I just sell you? Yeah, that's what I tell most people. I'm just like, why are you paying for a sub if you know me IRL? Just like Venmo me. <laughs> it's so much. Then I get like a hundred percent of it instead of fifty percent of it. Um, but yeah. So um, Overcooked has one achievement that you get for beating the tutorial, and the tutorial is very easy, so you don't really get a feel for the game just yet, like and how hard it's gonna get. And the achievement gives you one gamer score. And then when you beat every single level perfectly with three stars, that's when you get the other achievement, which gives you 199 gamer score. So that's like forcing me to play because I gotta like go through and actually like perfect everything just so I can get that five back, you know? There's also this one game that we had to like, you had to open to, um, oh, that's a lot of stuff done right there. You had to open it. It was, like, called Cameo or something. I don't even know. But, like, you had to open it to get, like, some Game Pass points or whatever. Like, rewards points. Um, it was, like, a challenge a couple, probably months ago. Maybe years. And um, the second you opened it, it was, like, a 360 game. So, the second you opened it for some reason, um, it, it like... <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by Ashley. I'm going to finish the story, then I'll respond to you. Um, 
the second you opened it, it gave you an achievement for zero gamer score. So now that's just on my list of like on this achievement list. It's just here somewhere. Like if I just keep scrolling down, I'm sure I'll find it. And it's just got zero gamer score. And that pisses me off so much. So now I feel obligated to finish it because I've technically quote unquote started it, even though I haven't, <laughs> I haven't started it. It's just, it's stupid. It's silly. Um, the rat points. So that's channel points. You can make your own channel points. So I made that rat, uh, and I made it look like a heart and it's pixel art and I'm very proud of it. I think it's very cute. Uh, technically I'm not the rat. People just assume I'm the rat. Like people, like it's just been a bit in my stream that I am the rat, but technically I'm the rat king. So like y'all are the rats and these are your rat points. Um, but yeah, those channel points can do, like, I, I've set up a couple of things that those channel points can do. I'm probably going to set up some more later. I'm just lazy, and I got a lot of other stuff to do. Like, you know, college work. Um, but, um, yeah, you can do certain things, like, every 15 minutes or so, people can pop the hydrate and make me drink water. Um, you can... I think I got rid of stretch break, but if you get 50,000, you can make me not curse for an entire stream. So if I decide to play another rage game, which I probably will sometime soon, um, maybe Dark Souls. I'm really feeling like playing Dark Souls at some point soon. You can make maybe make me not curse for that, uh, and then I might set up some other channel points so you guys have stuff to do. You can also make me dab. <laughs> that one's dumb. That one's silly. I like it. Um, yeah, I actually I use that channel points thing more now. I, I'm realizing there's some good stuff on there, but. Ellie uses his constantly. He's got like, but he also has like a VTuber, so. But yeah, actually, you don't know Ellie, but he's got like this model of himself that moves when he moves and stuff, which is what we in the community call VTube, um, virtual tuber. And um, yeah, he has like a bunch of channel points to like, you can redeem it to like change his outfit, change like, you know, Move stuff around, add stuff, remove stuff, like, whatever. It's pretty cool. He is a very, um, creative man. Don't forget about Pet, yeah. I wasn't sure how to explain Pet to someone who doesn't watch. <laughs> um, Pet can now do a flip, can it? That's awesome. I love that he just named his pet Pet because it's fart in French or something like that. <laughs> Silly dude. Can't wait for ISMP. Uh... The next season. I don't think we've like officially announced it actually happening. Like I don't think we've ofi officially announced any release dates, but we've thrown out the idea of it coming back. And whenever it comes back, I'm very excited. Needless to say, I am in fact invited. We have really gotten rid of like a lot of people who used to be on it. Not out of any hate or anything, just like we're trying something new this season and it's going to be easier to do it with fewer people. But, um, yeah, I'm very excited. I love Minecraft, dude. I haven't played it in so long, like, genuinely, other than the stream that I just did. But, like, I mean, it's always been a pretty good game. I never really liked the microtransactions, but I think Mojang has made it pretty clear that it's not them doing it. Like, they would rather not have it as well. But, you know, if you're going to get owned by, like, one of the biggest company, gaming companies in the world... That's kind of what you're you're gonna come to expect. A lot of uh, kind of sleazier business practices like that. You should collab with XQC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just go and hit him up real quick. Yeah, I'll let him know. <laughs> I'll let him know that uh, like he's he's been waiting. He actually reached out a couple days ago, and uh, I I left him on red. So I'll actually respond. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. <laughs> I'm good. I like, dude, I like where I'm at with my streaming, honestly. Yesterday, apparently, Scrub was looking at the uh, stats for average, like, Minecraft viewers. And I was kind of higher up on the chain because, like, most of the people playing Minecraft were, like, the big, big guys. And then it there was, like, an immediate drop-off. And I was kind of on the upper end of that drop-off for a long time. So, as always, I appreciate your, you guys' uh, support. I thought he was Q Andre because Q is on here and XQC is on... So I thought that was cute. That's crazy. That's crazy. We have a resident who lives, uh, like one of my uh, dorm mates, like he lives down the hall, and <laughs> apparently she thought that that was cute. 
the XQC was our friend. They are completely different people, different skin colors, different accents, different everything, but you know, whatever. But yeah, I, as always, I appreciate all of you guys' support a lot because um, that stream was a lot of fun. This stream's a lot of fun too. I'm loving this. I'm hearing XQC is white and British. I don't think he's British. He's European, I think. I honestly, I don't watch him. I don't. I wouldn't know. Um, I'm pretty sure he's uh, European, and I think he's. Uh, I think he's white. But also, like white doesn't necessarily mean skin tone. It means like. Because, like, I don't think Irish people are considered white. Even though skin tone-wise, they are, like, on the lighter side. So, I don't know. But, yeah. Make Ari mini dab. I gotta add a sound for that, shouldn't I? Skirt! That's It's literally just a full dab. It's just, um... It's mini because I have just a tiny webcam. <laughs> But it's essentially, in essence, a full dab. Um, I don't know what sound to add for that. I got a new sound that I want to add for raids. Um, there's this episode of Always Sunny where um, one guy just comes, busts into the room and just goes, Party! <laughs> and I just really love it. So I gotta, I gotta add that for raids. I think it's really funny if I have that for a raid. Skirt. Thanks. Thanks, Chaz. I really gotta add a pop up because anybody who watches on um, on YouTube is just like, why is Ari dabbing randomly? <laughs> At least with hydrate, you can hear the slurping noises, but or the drink the drinking noises, not the slurping noises. But um, with the mini dab, there's literally nothing there. It's just it just tells me to dab. Subscribe, thank you. You guys should subscribe. Remember, if you haven't watched the video on my YouTube channel, it's right there. We're almost at 80 views. Can we get to 80? By almost to 80 views, I mean we're at 79. So literally one person watched and we've made it to 80. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Ashley, thank you for the follow. That was very late. <laughs> she, Guys, I think she just learned how to follow. Um, I have the softest shirt on right now. I just want to tell everyone, dude, hell yeah. I got a nice soft hoodie. I got rat points for it. Yeah, you do get. I think you get like three hundred rat points for, um, for following. Uh, Ellie sent me the closed caption thing. I will set that up. I'm so sorry that I, got, I haven't had it, guys. I think he's told me to do it before, and I got a little bit distracted and forgot to do it. But um, I will do it. So that if you are hard of hearing, or if you just feel like being muted or whatever, uh, you can watch it. Uh, are you can ch replace? Yeah, I know, Sam. Well, I I actually realized that in a in yesterday's stream, I think. <laughs> let me let me just write this down real quick. Let's write down everything we gotta do real quick. Um, okay, we gotta close captions. Okay, and 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 change YouTube URL Nightbot, and then I gotta add a add a noise add noise for, what do you call it? What was it? Uh, for the mini dab. And add noise for raid. Um, how do I participate in a raid? So basically, at the end of the stream, uh, if there's someone who's live that I want to raid, and if we have like actual viewers, um, I will initiate a raid. That means that we all will count down and go over to their channel together, and it'll like automatically send you to their channel, and you'll get some channel points for it on my side, and then you can send them some love and like. Say something in the chat, let them know, like, hey, you know, what's up? It's just a way of sharing our community with someone else's. Pants that are fuzzy on the inside and they match my favorite outfit. Hell yeah. I need more comfortable clothes. I just need more clothes, man. I have this one black shirt that I love to wear, and I think you guys have seen it in the past couple streams because I just keep wearing it because it's just my favorite shirt because it's like, it's comfy. It's like, it looks good because it's a very easy shirt, you know? Um... It's like, it's like a very like light shirt. Like there's nothing like that can make it too complicated or weird. It's just it's just a plain black shirt. But just it being comfy and stuff, it's just it's perfect. Honestly, if I owned just all shirts that were like that, the amount of choices I would have to make in the day would go down and I would be so much happier. I've genuinely thought about just 
pulling a Johnny Test or like any or Free Guy or like any ca cartoon character or like that kind of thing ever, and just getting like a bunch of stuff that's just one <laughs> one clothing, and um, just wear that t for the rest of my life. I'd be fine with it. I know there have been YouTubers who have talked about doing stuff like that. I think Matthias did a video on it. Um, I don't watch him much anymore, so I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that I watched a video of him doing that once. It's a vibe, man. As long as it was comfy, yeah. Let's get the window done. I would do it. Yeah, thought so. Um, Sheen. Dude, I don't know any com clothing brands. I'm not a clothing guy. I often just get stuff from India, like whatever I can. Oh, we're already on the extra long extension. Dang. That's the wall and this arch. There we go. I think that should be everything. I think that's the entire bottom. Shine is an online store. Sheen, whatever. Got you. How do you not know it? I know of it. I've just never like seen it. You know, I've never gone to the page or anything. Alright, let's get up here. Second floor. We're only 34% done, but we've done the entire bottom floor, so I really don't know how to feel about that. Should we try to get on here? I think I think let's um try to do it. Would you want it to be short sleeve and shorts or long sleeve and pants or a mix of both? I'd probably do short sleeve and then have a bunch of shorts and pants. Like one thing of just shorts and one thing of just pants. And then um and then maybe a couple hoodies just to style if it gets cold. Which is kind of what I have now. It's like I don't have all of the same shirt. I'm not sure if I should just bring the scaffolding closer or if I should just stay here. I think bringing it closer might help. Um, please. There we go. Yep. There we go. Okay, perfect. This is what we wanted. This is going to take a while to beat this level. I think we'll- I, I don't think we'll be able to do the bonus job, so... I'm fine with it. That means we get another power wash stream in the future. But, um... I think we might just do the two DLCs today, and then do all the bonus jobs in another stream. Uh, my ba- <laughs> My basic outfit is cargo pants. I have cargo pants. A shirt based on the weather, and a hoodie jacket if it gets really cold. I get that. I kind of do the same. What's an emote? It's just... A thing. How do you not know what an e you're messing with me at this point? Because you have a phone. <laughs> you know what an emo is. There's no way. I always wear this one jacket and my friends can spot me because they always know. Oh wait, she's the one in the pink jacket. What well, you were just doing this. Yeah, no, like I think Ashley's messing with me. Like an emoji? Yeah, it's essentially an emoji, but it's not. You know? <laughs> it's essentially an emoji, but it's like not an emoji. Cause the emojis are like the yellow guys are like they're they're like the little they're like the little pre made ones. But yeah, it's essentially the same thing. Just emotes are ones that we make. I think that's the difference. I think emojis are like the company ones. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This manner, man. I'm not I can't I can't believe I'm getting paid four hundred dollars for this. That's it. That's all. <laughs> He's throwing up the poor lizard. Oh my gosh. There's so many funny things you can do with emojis. I've seen so many things that people have <laughs> done with it. Like that little snake, like octopus thing. I've seen that. How long have you spent on this man so far? Uh, Yeah, 54 minutes. <laughs> or like 50-ish minutes because that's when I started recording. I gave myself four hours for the stream today, uh, give or take. Obviously, I don't generally cut it off exactly at any point. So, um, I think if we finish this in like two hours and we finish the other one in two hours, it'll work out. Um, I don't mind going a little over because I had a good dinner. I have some energy in me. And 
to be honest, knowing Power Wash, I'm sure one of my friends will try to infiltrate, like, Scrub will call me on Discord or something, and try to, <laughs> like, uh, do some content, so, uh, if they do, I don't mind. Oh, they're hugging! $400 is a pretty good deal. If it takes about another hour, you're being paid 200 an hour, which is like 20 times minimum wage. Hmm. 200 an hour, yeah, that's, I guess, I guess so. I suppose. I, I just think that if you have to... I mean, yeah, no, you're right. I guess you're right. Then again, I'm just, like, I'm just crazy with it. Also, like, if, okay, if we were in the real world, I wouldn't be able to see grime and dirt this easily. And it wouldn't tell me when I'm done. So I'd be spending way longer on it trying to get every perfect, like, bit of grime done, right? So I think technically, we're getting underpaid. Because... All the work that we would be putting in, we just don't have to just because it's a video game. But if we're going to go off real logic, then that's all I'm saying. Here we go. Sweet little guy's just hugging. But see, yeah, like, even what I was talking about with the Minecraft thing earlier, like, even now, I have, like more viewers than I'm used to <laughs> like and I'm just I'm just playing by myself like it's different when I'm with Ellie because I get when there's more viewers there because obviously people want to see my side and like Ellie's a big guy but the fact that I'm that I have just you guys who support me so often like it very much like like I, I can't express it like I very much expect uh, uh what's the word respect Appreciate? That's- I think that's- I think I tried to say <laughs> appreciate and respect, I don't know. But I- I appreciate everything that you guys have done. Cause, um... Cause I've been streaming more, like, I- I've been taking it far more seriously. Cause I know I used to just go on breaks randomly, cause I just get overwhelmed with work and stuff. Like, with school and all that, and I just forget. But, um, I've been taking it more seriously. I think Ellie has too. We've both been, like, making a bunch more plans and actually doing them. I remember, uh, a couple months or years ago, we, we would make plans, and then we would just be like, eh, I'm tired, let's just do it another day. Or like, oh, I fell asleep, my bad. Um, but yeah, it's, dude, streaming's so much fun. Uh, we were in call earlier, uh, yesterday, I think, and we were talking about streaming. Because there's this kind of notion that, like, a lot of people, are, they'll see streaming, and they'll just be like, ah, I could do that, easy, right? Like, whatever, who cares, right? But, like, I've watched my old streams. I know that I am very bad at commentating for a long period of time and just talking and, like, having entertaining stuff to say. Um, and also just having energy for, like, ages and ages. I was going to stream tonight and Brain just said, no, I get that, dude. I, um, I've i done that in the past for sure. Zen Zemo, this is hers now. <laughs> and here's Fanny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> a raccoon and a flag. I love it. Um, or flag, fire. Um... But yeah, like, uh, there's a lot of people who are just kind of like, eh, like, I could do that. You're not doing anything special, blah, blah, blah. But every time, I understand exactly what you're saying about streaming right now. Yeah, like, every time, whenever I see those people try, it, it just, it's just like, they they don't understand the core, like, reason that people watch stream, which is about you as a person and your, like, you know, how entertaining you can be and what, like, I don't know what you bring to the table, right? Like, what, what, what about your personality are you kind of showing to people that make them want to go? Hey, I want to spend hours with this person and kind of like get to know them, right? So that's like that's why when like when the viewer counts like up or whatever, like obviously, it's a very bad idea to make your like make your happiness or your self worth defined by the views, right? And I try my best not to do that. Um, like when there's lower views, I'm just like, eh, people in the VOD will watch it or uh, people will show up or whatever. Like I just try to enjoy, but when it is up, it's like, it really shows like, you know, the work I've been putting in, maybe it does mean something like it is worth it. Um, I think that goes for anything, right? Like we were talking about art earlier. You can't rush out art. You can't AI create art and make something that you're proud of. Like if you want to make something you're proud of, you got to sit down and you gotta really put in the work and you gotta practice and that's something i never did which is why my art sucks and i gotta I, i've actually wanted to practice uh if not art at least animation um i think they go hand in hand but it's very easy to have not like great art and still make good animation 
So, like, animation is more interesting to me. It's, like, I like the moving <laughs> aspect. So, um, but, yeah, like, that's a thing. You got to put in that, like, time so that you are showing progress and stuff. And it goes for streaming, too, and it goes for everything. It goes for all forms of... Because streaming at the... It inherently is just performance, right? It's just performing for hours on end. And it's like, because you're performing for hours on end, you don't need to do what, like, Broadway plays do and stuff. You don't need to, like, prepare or memorize or record and stuff. Like, it's essentially just very long improv. So, like, any any performance like that, improv, like, Broadway, you know, TV, film, movies, all that stuff, like, you have to have some knowledge of what you're doing, what you're trying to accomplish, and then put in the time and effort to do that. Which is why, honestly, like, when I was younger, so, like, I don't know how much I have talked about this before, but when I was younger, I, I was always, like, I, I fell in love with YouTube very quickly. The second my, my cousin showed me a Beijing Canadian video, um, if you know him, he played Hunger Games a lot in the past, and he was, like, always playing Minecraft Hunger Games. He had, like, 100 episodes on it, and I fell in love with it. I watched all 100 episodes, like, for so long. Like, I was binge-watching it, like, constantly for, like, months, and my parents hated it. Like, they hated how much time I was spending on it. They took away my earbuds sometimes. They took away my phone. They were, like, so annoyed with me. Um, but I loved it, right? And then I started watching Stampy, and I loved his stuff, and I loved the the lore that he would create. He was always a story guy, right? And then, so, you know, I saw two core ideas that you see in, uh, in, in content creation a lot, which is, one, uh, improv, and two, lore. Um, and stories. And I just, like, I fell in love with it. So then, when I was younger, I said, I feel like if I could get over a certain hurdle, it would be a sort of snowball effect. I don't know about that. I don't think it gets easier with time. Honestly, like, it's taken me a long time to grow to where I am. And I'm nowhere near where I would consider big. So I definitely wouldn't rely on it getting, like, snowball. I, I wouldn't rely on a snowball. I think what you have to do is put in the work. Like, you can't ask for shouts and stuff. You can't, like... Expect people to, like, watch because you, you know, tell people you're streaming or whatever. You just got to put in the work, really have, like, love for what you're doing, and the people will hopefully come with it. And sometimes you're unlucky and you just don't get there, and that's just how it is. And sometimes, you know, you got to decide if you want to, uh, you know, break away or keep trying or whatever you want to do. But, um... I definitely don't think there's any snowball effect. Unless you're like Ludwig and you put in like more work than any normal person would put in, which is like streaming every day, recording every day. And even to do that, you need to be a bit like privileged. You need to have like money so that you can do that stuff and not like run it at a loss for a while. I feel like I could have people to chat with. I mean, to be fair, like if you watch the start of the stream, if you go back and watch the VOD, uh, I had about like one viewer for like, a solid I'd say like 15 20 minutes like I was I had no one to talk to and I just kind of spitballed I just went off and talked about whatever I had to talk about and then people showed up so that's again it is a thing of like you can't really rely on it snowballing or anything like that that's where you have to learn to just like that's that's what I say when I say like you have to learn how to do this like kind of performative thing right like um it's not always easy, like, a, a lot of the time you will just, even, even, like, no matter how big you get, you will have bad streams where there's, like, no one talking, you're not doing something that, like, people have anything to say to, um, and, you know, that's just how it goes, but, you know, you just gotta get through that rough patch and keep working at it, and eventually you'll get better, I mean, if you watch some of my older streams, I could not talk for shit, I could not say anything, I was really bad at keeping a dialogue going, but I think I've gotten better at it now because I've just done it for so long. My problem is motivation also shorten shortens to my streams. That's fair. I think uh, Twitch is definitely at a point where like people feel ex like they expect like eight hour streams a lot of the time. Now that's when you say penguin facts. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just start spouting off facts about penguins. No, you know what? You're so right. I'll start doing that. I'm going to start just memorizing facts about penguins. Lion King or Cars, the movie, which is better? Uh, Lion King, easily. We tried to watch Cars, and uh, my friends and I tried to watch Cars a couple months ago, maybe years ago, I don't even remember. 
Uh, I was losing my mind. I could not do it. <laughs> I could not sit through it. No offense. Listen, Cars is great. It was part of my childhood too, but um, God, could not get through it. But yeah, what I was talking about with... Um, so I, I've fallen in love with content creation since a very, very young age. Always loved it. So I used to make YouTube videos, which you guys have n will never see because they're deleted from everything. I, 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 I never had the thought of keeping them around because they were so cringy. But I would make videos daily for like a month, I remember. Or like maybe a couple weeks. I, I was trying to just make them daily. So like right after school, I'd come back. I'd, I'd record. I'd post to the previous day's one. Then I'd edit. I'd, like I'd, I was working hard. And like, you know, I think a lot of people who are in it for just the quick cash or whatever, they, they don't have that passion about them. So they'll give up when it gets rough. But I think that some of us who have loved this stuff since we were kids, who have grown up with it, our generation of like creators are going to be pretty good, I hope. Hopefully not too clickbaity. I think clickbait has definitely evolved. <laughs> it's definitely gotten hit in new points. And I think it, to some extent, I will have to clickbait a little more. But, like, for example, my best of videos, they're always just going to be best of. I hope I hope I don't have to clickbait my way. Because um, I like how I posted that one. It was more real. It was more genuine. I feel like my viewership is hanging its peak right at the end of stream. Maybe I can find time to stream for two to three hours between each classes. Yeah. I mean, again, it's just... Uh, it might also be time zones. There's a lot of factors that go into it. Um, like, for example, I was just talking to a friend yesterday and she was like, dude, you always stream like right when my classes are. Uh, and I was like, crap, damn, I'm sorry. But like my best time to stream, like I don't mind streaming earlier in the day, but sometimes I have classes, I have midterms. So I can't do, like if I do these weekly streams where I'm like telling you, I will be here this time this week or like this day of the week, this time of the day, every week. Like I can't do that during the middle of the day. Cause if there's ever a midterm, if there's anything else, like I can't, uh, unless I just cancel, I guess, but like, I'm just used to streaming at night. I like doing the 9 p.m.s. Like, they're just... That's, like, my normal, right? Like, I'm just used to it. And then I go till midnight or 1, and then I end. Um, So, yeah. I think part of it could be, like, oh, like, you... You know, um, you stream on... At a time when most people are in class. And then right when they're getting out of class is when you end. It could be something like that. Or it could just be, like, you get advertised or you get people to show up right when you're about to end and that's just luck i think but um that is the thing where like if you have sorry i don't know why i always, I always burp in the middle of stream, in the middle of streams at this point i just don't even like excuse myself sorry um i don't even know if you guys can hear it honestly i hold it back <laughs> like you guys can barely hear it but like this mic is really it picks up so um yeah but like um a part of it is also just like if you start if you are streaming right and you your peak is like when you're about to end then those viewers aren't really like your viewers like they're not there for you you just gotta keep streaming when you are able to stream and then hopefully the people did i miss anything here hopefully the people who like your streams and are able to make it to your time will be able to show up and then you will get the viewers that you want I've just seen the one hour mark or so be where viewership starts to pick up. Yeah, it's different for everyone. Because again, I streamed for maybe like 20 minutes and I had no viewers. And then the same thing happened yesterday, I think. And then it just picked up very quickly. So I think it's different for everyone. Um, it really depends on like, you know, people's schedules. And that's just something you can't align around, right? Like you gotta align around your own schedule and when you are able to stream and want to stream and, you know, feel the drive to stream. So... I think it's not worth it to, like, try to figure out, like, oh, like, people are free this time, so... Like, to some extent it is. I try to stream at, like, you know, times that are good for Europe sometimes, because I know, like, Melon, for example, has said, like, oh, you finally streamed at a time I, I could watch, and, you know, he's my friend. I, I like having him around, so, like, sometimes I will go around that, but for the most part, I just try to do my own thing and hope that people will show up when they show up, you know? Um, I would have joined by a choice. Yo, don't even worry about it. It's all good if you guys can't join immediately or if you can't join at all. I totally get it. Like, we all got life things going on. Um, no hate. I appreciate that you do show up, Penguin, uh, as always, whenever you do. And all of you in chat, of course. Um, but Penguin, you've been around a lot recently, and I just wanted to shout you out. Thank you so much. <laughs> Strokey has always been there since day one, and I've told her, like, thank you for, uh, for like being there for like every stream um 
but a lot of you like I've been getting people who have been here uh, recently and they've been showing up more and I appreciate that like treble and you know penguin everyone it's been awesome it's great it's I love I love streaming I also love streaming because I will also say like it's so much fun when I'm not just the Ellie friend you know like I think a lot of people back in the day would um there was there was a lot of streams back in the day maybe not a lot but I had a couple of streams where um people would join and they'd be like yo where's Ellie and I'm like what do you mean where's Ellie this is my channel you want to see Ellie go to Ellie's channel um but I think I've gotten to a point now where people know me and like they know who I am and they like my stuff so they just watch and then if Ellie shows up it's like oh Ellie's here too and if Ellie doesn't show up it's like okay we're watching Ari play power wash I guess <laughs> I usually have nothing else to do. Yeah, I get that. I mean, honestly, that's why I watch YouTube. I binge watch YouTube. I always just go through my sub subscription feed. I add every single video to watch later. And then I just let it pile up. And whenever there's nothing there, I'll watch It's Always Sunny and I'll just binge that. And when there's some... Ashley, you do not get to promote. No, I'm timing you out. What the heck? No way. Oh my gosh, my own, it'd be your own RA, bro. It'd be your own RA. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. Um, she does have a vlog on Snapchat. I don't know if you guys want to watch it. Who cares? It's fine. <laughs> she's gonna, oh, she's about to send me like the meanest text. I swear to God. I'm about to feel buzzing on my watch and hear like the most horrid sentence known to man. Um, yeah, but <laughs> what was I talking about? I forgot. Um, yeah, yeah, so I literally I will like I've I just binge watch always sunny when I have nothing to do and I have no videos to watch or I'll just Have the watch later pl playlist up and it'll just go through a bunch of videos and I'll watch like 10 or 20 a day and I'll just let it run through and I'll pretend I'm doing work, but really I'm not doing any work, right? And uh, I'll just come back and there'll be like <laughs> Like I'll, I'll just like come back to reality and I'll be like, oh crap I have like this do this do and this do uh, at midnight, and I'll just not have done it. First of all, <laughs> I was telling you to watch my vlog. Shut up! <laughs> no one cared. Um, I mean, if you really want to go and seek out her vlog, sure, go ahead. I've watched it. Um, secondary, <laughs> how dare you mute me? I'm not a dog. Get wrecked, dude. I watched, li okay, the Life series is literally my favorite thing, dude. It's so good. Um, and Hermitcraft Animation, I don't want to watch any of those. And if I don't want to watch any of those, I watch Season 7 of Hermitcraft from Green's pr perspective. Got you. <laughs> Oppressing minorities, taking away my freedoms. Listen, man, I'm Indian. You can't say that to me. I've also been oppressed by the British. <laughs> God, she's using so many emotes that I never see in this chat. I think it's very funny. Like the Binding of Isaac emotes. Um, the Life series literally one of my favorite things that i've seen on youtube recently and i think it's because it is literally just friends playing games <laughs> like i think on youtube obviously that's what hermitcraft largely is but they aren't just all playing together a lot of the time they're just kind of doing their own thing and sometimes they collab and that's fun and i still watch that too <coughs> excuse me sorry but um the thing is like i think youtube has had like I said earlier, it's been, it's got a push for clickbait and that's just how it goes when you have essentially commercialized art, like, you know, it, it, YouTube's got this thing of like easy money, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm gonna promote you on the vlog. Thank you so much. Um, thoughts on Twitter. What do you mean? Twitter dying? It's pissing me off, <laughs> but, um, I'll get to that in a sec because I have a whole rant about that. But, um, YouTube, when you have like commercialized art and you have like commercialized, like, you have this thing of, like, easy money, you can just make videos, make money, you know, be happy, whatever. I, it's, like, obviously, you are gonna see people, like, kind of clickbait and not put in as much work into their content and stuff like that, and that sucks. So, I think the Life series is amazing because it's really just what, it's exactly what we want to see, which is some of our favorite people all together playing games. And it's not clickbaity, it's just people having fun. And it's just people hopping on at a certain time, playing a game, and hopping off. And that is my favorite thing. It is so simple. It is exactly what you need to do for good content. Just have a good group of friends who know how to make content, who know exactly what it means to be a YouTuber and to know what they want with their YouTube channel and with all of their friends' YouTube channels. 
and just have fun. It's so simple. Don't get me wrong. Some of the more hardcore stuff that people like hardcore is in the more uh, stuff that they put on YouTube that they put more time into, like animations, like Jaden animations and odd ones out and uh, Matt Pat with his theories and video essays. I love video essays. I want to make one. I've been uh, thinking about one that I want to make. All that stuff is lovely. I love it. Don't get me wrong. But a big part of what makes YouTube great is the fact that you make something simple. And as long as you know what you're doing and you know what people want and you are aware somewhat of like, it's like finding a balance between the algorithm and having fun. And I think a lot of people delve way too much into the algorithm nowadays. And there's like all these YouTubers who try to take other YouTubers under their wings to like show them the algorithm and stuff. And it just feels soulless. And I just love when people do stuff like the life series and just bring it really back to reality, you know? I don't know if any of that made sense. I think I ranted. Like, I went on more of a rave there than a rant. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I love it. I love it. I got to catch up on some of the Life series. I think I only watched, like, the first one or the second. I think the others are in my watch other playlist. I think Double Life is the next one that I have. Now, about Twitter. Let's talk about Twitter. I feel like there's a fine line between clickbait and just crazy concepts. I agree. Mr. Beast generally i would say does crazy concepts and isn't generally a clickbaiter because everything he says that he's going to do he does but also like the thumbnails are clickbaity so it's like i think that's why there's a fine line it's because it's very easy to cross that line and very often people do even though they have a crazy idea they'll still like you know but yeah it is good to be passionate i totally agree that's exactly what i'm saying i love i love when people are passionate about what they're making it it makes for the best content um I've even been enjoying game theory more because I feel like there's been a lot of passion that I kind of, I wasn't seeing for a while. So like all those theory f channels, I gotta get get caught up on style theory. I'm not there yet in my watch side playlist, but, um, yeah, but yeah. So Twitter, Musk, good old Musky boy, um, said like, Twitter Blue is kind of like the meta now. If you have Twitter blue, that's what the For You page will be. If you have Twitter blue, only only then will you be able to do polls. And we all know why that is. It's because he did that one poll where he was like, um, he was like, <laughs> should I step down as CEO? And everyone said no. And then he's like, ah, it's clearly because the people who didn't pay me voted and they got bots or whatever. Idiotic. Gosh, I am so pissed off because Twitter is one of my, like, it's not one of my favorite social medias, but it's one of the best, like, most original ones, I'd say, that, like, we still have around. Because, like, Instagram and Snapchat, they rip each other off. Or, no, well, Instagram rips off Snapchat more than anything. And um, TikTok and, like, Instagram ripped off TikTok. And uh, TikTok ripped off Instagram and Snapchat with stories. Like, they're all kind of, like... But, like, Twitter does its own thing, and it has this thing of, like, you can only say so much, which does help it uh, does hurt sorry when you're talking politically because people can't make nuanced tweets and then there's like no distinction between your thoughts your real thoughts and what you're saying because you could say something very like activist and like quick and snappy but it won't be truly where your um beliefs lie and stuff like that so that's like a whole problem with it i agree um i agree with myself because i'm the one who brought it up but um but like I do love it. I think it's a good good idea for a, a social media and I like it. And it's very much in line with TikTok of like quick snappy stuff. You can just scroll through really quick. But um I don't know. We're getting screwed. And I really hope that Musk sells for twenty billion as he's hoping to, and someone better makes it makes it like a really good app again. Um until then I'll use it to promote my um uh my streams as always and you know Join my Discord if you want to hear my real thoughts about stuff, because that's where we all talk. We've been using calls a little bit more. But, um... Let me go up a little bit. I hate the over-exaggerated faces. I don't know if I said anything, but yeah, I agree with you, Penguin. I really hate those. I try not to do them. Um, I only like it when Markiplier does it sometimes, because he does really funny ones. I teach you statistics around game theory. I honestly, I would love to hear it. I, I love game theory. I love all their stuff. Fun fact, I worked on Meta Project that helped fix their supply chain over the summer. Jesus, what the heck? I didn't know that. Um, Instagram sucks. It's so annoying and malicious. Yeah, I never really liked Instagram. I, I don't even remember to post on it for like streams and stuff. I kind of forget I even have it. Um, I just post reels on it sometimes. I want to make more reels and I want to make them animated because I think that looks nicer. And I like putting work into everything I do. I don't like just re-uploading 
snaps of like what I've done, if that makes sense. So um, I think I said this yesterday as well. So, um, so yeah, I, I think I'm gonna do a uh, do some animations and post those on t on Instagram. But like Instagram Reels also has terrible discoverability. I don't know what they did, but they have like dog shit. I don't know what they did. They Instagram Reels sucks in terms of discoverability. So I really don't care about it. YouTube Shorts and TikToks where it's at. Twitter's network has tanked by half. I I mean yeah. I mean it tanked because I wait. Okay, so do you mean tanked by half in terms of, like stocks and stuff, or just in terms of Musk selling it for twenty billion? Because him selling it for twenty billion, like that makes sense, you know. Um. Um. You should get to know your RA because I actually do shit and I have an interesting life outside my boy drama. I'm known in industry for real, like I'm lol in the Silicon Valley. Oh, oh, oh boy. I spent <laughs> that's an L. <laughs> I spent weeks out there in the meadow office of San Jose. Dang, good job. Um, that's crazy. I talk to you all the time and you've never said any of that to me. You could literally talk to me about all that instead you talk to me about your boy drama. That's crazy. Do you see that Twitter source code? The creeper has did nothing to me. <laughs> Yesterday people got me really bad with that thing, dude. Yesterday people eviscerated me i dude i saw like my life flash before my eyes i had barely even played and i freaked out oh my gosh um i didn't know that the their source code got leaked hydrate thank you penguin give me my rat points back sucks to suck <laughs> i think there's certain there's certain ones where i can't give them back Stepping in for Fanny, yeah, I appreciate it. Fanny was in here for, like, right in the beginning, and then she had to go to sleep, I think. Their source code was on GitHub for, like, a month or something? Crazy. Someone make a better Twitter. We already have Kick, which is, like, a worse Twitch. Now just do that, but do the other way around. Make it, make twi Twitter better. Kick is run by Aiden Ross, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna hop on a platform for with a, a Tate fanboy. Um... Because from everything I've heard ever, I don't watch the guy, but everything I've heard, he's a Tate guy. And I'm completely unokay with that, so. Kick is still alive? No, 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 not kick. Not kick like that kick. It's it's like kick like the actual word kick. K-I-C-K. -K. It's a different platform that some a streamer on here on Twitch got banned. Then they made a, 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 another streaming platform called Kick. And it's essentially just a Twitch ripoff. And um, the guy who made it from everything I've heard ever is not a good person, so I refuse to use it. Um, I have actually heard a kick though, Ashley. I didn't. I used to use it, um, like the one you're talking about, K. Okay. I really only have Discord, and that's it. I got you. Yeah, I um, I like using Discord. I use it a lot, honestly. I've been really bad about using my own server, but we've been in server. I think are they still in call? I know they were in call earlier. Um, yeah, two of them are. So if you feel like uh. What the heck? Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, two people are in my server right now. Uh, Jazz and uh, Sanwall. So if you're in the mood to talk to some people, maybe now or maybe after the stream, you can go. Um, I, we, I've Like I said, I've been very bad about using my server recently. I've been kind of overwhelmed because I've had to do all the stream stuff. And then, like, obviously college has been tiring. So I kind of fell off from using it. But I think recently we're making a push to use it. Like subconsciously, we're all just kind of on it more, so I think that's fun. We can we can all hang out again, like we used to. I really should use utilize Twitter more. Um, I think at this point, it's uh I wouldn't waste your time. I just wait and, t and see what happens. Maybe it'll survive. Maybe someone else will buy it and fix it, or maybe t Musk will f somehow get sued for something. I don't know, um, and not have it anymore, or maybe um. I'm so pissed off at the guys who freaking forced him to buy it, who sued him so that he couldn't back out of the deal. I mean, idiotic. Well, that's that's where you know how we we're talking about passion earlier. That's where passion goes to die. Greed. Oh my gosh. You had a platform that was making you like enough money to survive for sure. And this was a new CEO, I think, as well, right? I think, like, Jack or whoever stepped down, and it was the new CEO, and then that new CEO sold it. You had this this platform that has been living for ages. You could have just kept it, you know, seen what you could do with it, build it, and instead, you decided to take the easy sellout road, sell it for 40 bill, leave, 
go go live your lives and let it suffer. Like I hope they are genuinely like frustrated at what they've done to this to this thing, which like people have spent ages building into this platform and now it's just going down the drain because one guy has decided, you know what? I'm going to come in here. I'm going to fire a bunch of people who are very crucial to the process of making this platform survive. And then I'm going to, I don't know, like, to make people pay to use this free platform. And if they actually want to get seen and get views and all that and, like, actually use the platform, then, you know. You're going to buy Twitter? Ashley, I will literally stop talking to you. Don't you dare give that man money. I swear to God. It's one thing if some random person in chat says it. it Ashley, I swear to God. Considering I know you, there's no way. I'll lose my mind. That's the thing. The only people who are going to be paying for it are people who want that clout. You know? And those are the people that I don't want to give attention anyway. Like, I think, again, it's a it's a thing of balance, right? Like, since I want to grow, I do jump into the clout t chaser mentality to, like, the smallest extent. Like, I'm like, okay, what's a good like cool stream that could that could uh pop off like every once in a while i'll try to do like a bigger stream right but like that's a thing where you need to have balance like if you if you are only trying to get clout and you're not doing like these streams where i'm just sitting here alone playing a game that has not like that has not been in the limelight for a very long time like if you don't do these streams that are more personal and fun like what's the point and that's why like i i would lose my mind if i if i I'm back, just joined your Discord. Oh, welcome back. Thank you for joining. I uh, will say hi to you as soon as the stream's over. Um, but that's the thing, like, if if people pay for, like, for example, if people genuinely do pay for Twitter just to, like, promote their stuff, that's a level of clout chasing where you're not, you don't have any, like, you don't have that balance, right? Like, I don't mind clout chasing to a certain extent, but when it's all you do or you're, like, putting in a bunch of time into specifically chasing it, you're not building an audience. You're not building a platform or a community. And you're just kind of... You're throwing away a lot of potential time that you could be spending getting to know the people that, you know, you're streaming for and letting them get to know you. I don't know. That's just me, though. I think I do also have a bit of an old school view on this stuff. I think I am a bit of a boomer when it comes to content because I've grown up with it and I don't... I, I have, like, this idea that's something that needs to be cherished. cherished. But at the end of the day, I think everyone, even back in the day, had their ways of quote-unquote clout chasing. Even though it was, like, old school clout chasing, it wasn't the same as now. But I think everyone did have, like, the stuff they were doing that maybe I just didn't notice because I was younger. And so, again, maybe I am just a bit of a boomer in that regard. Um... But yeah, I don't know. It's just something interesting I like talking about, which is how how do we keep our content uh, going in a way that we're not throwing away all of our <laughs> morals, really. <laughs> we're only at 52%. Okay. that I think that makes sense. I'm trying to remember where we were at last time. Um, Kind of crazy how little we've made progress i feel like we did a lot yeah this entire right side's done how much do we have here about halfway and then we also have that fountain there i noticed yeah that thing so um making some good progress honestly i'm not even get bored getting bored of this game when did you gain morals yeah i know i have morals when it comes to uh stuff i care about if you guys don't know like i i obviously have this character that i have on stream Especially on streams with other people. I don't really do it when I'm doing like these more personal ones. But like, I have this character where I bully people. And especially when Stricky's here. I love bullying Stricky. Stricky's like my favorite. <laughs> um, but I have like this this character, this persona, right? That like, I, I jokingly like, I'm kind of like mean and I attack people. And, um, and I definitely do that at uh, college as well. And Ashley gets a lot of it because she says a lot of really dumb things. Um, so when she asks, like, oh, when did you get morals? That's what it means. It's because that persona, it goes away. Like, it does go, like, I have serious conversations with people, and I, I'm, like, real with people, but sometimes it comes back. Sometimes it's there, you know? Even in real life. God, I love how satisfying this game is. Every little ding gives me so much satisfaction. So much satisfaction. 
Come on, give it to me. I'm so close. Come on, dog. Where is it? I know there's just a little bit of dirt that I'm missing here. Give me. There it is. So many ads. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I have the ad set up to be like the minimum that Twitch allows without completely killing my channel. Cleaning aestheticness. Yeah, true. What's up, Zen? Welcome. Um, I'm sorry, Girl Hulk. I'm sorry you're getting so many ads. The best way is genuinely just to uh, like subscribe. But if you can't do that, I hope it's not like too... I don't even know if Girl Hulk can even hear this. But I hope for the rest of you, it's not too like too overwhelming the problem is like this is one of those moments where like if i don't if i go against twitch and i put less ads i am willing to bet that it'll destroy my algorithm and not put me in the eyes of as many people you know um welcome back welcome back girl i'm hearing it sick yeah it's because the thing is like i know ellie doesn't have he doesn't set it up in the way that twitch likes it and it's easier for him to do that because he is like a guy like he's a youtuber he's got like you know he's already got followers and stuff um but like i have no other like i'm only twitch right now and if i grow on youtube i think maybe i'll be able to lessen the ads on here because then even if i don't grow on here as much it's like it's fine like no one like it's not gonna affect me too much but yeah that's why i gotta keep the ads at exactly what they ask uh, I just do the recommended, and I try to lessen it or change it a little bit, but the recommended is just exactly, like, it's just the best way to abide by their guidelines at this point, unfortunately. Alright, come on. I missed a little bit everywhere. There we go. We are making some really good progress. Gosh, I love this game. It's so satisfying. My luggies and back are sore. Yo, how was your um? How was your track meet? Yeah, I forgot about that. You uh, you were telling me yesterday in call, um in uh, in stream. Sorry that uh, you were gonna have a track meet. Track meet sug two. I didn't do well. Oh, that's okay. Listen, there's good days and bad days. I'm sure uh, I'm sure you'll you'll bring it back with the next one. Do you uh, practice like? <laughs> do you like practice track? I guess do you practice running like uh outside of the track meets or do you guys just have like your scheduled meets often so then you just run a lot for that probably because i missed a week of practice wow okay i called it <laughs> i uh i um i yep i was right there with you uh yeah it happens i think um i've done the same oh i never even got this fountain let's get this i've done the same i because i did a bunch of different stuff like i've done martial arts and then i've done like things like guitar and stuff and dance and i just wouldn't practice martial arts i never really needed to practice i would go there like three times a week and i was just good at it but like i would just never practice uh what do you call it dance i always forgot i was a thrower i did discus oh zen zen does discus I saw a video of what Discus is yesterday, and it seems very fun. There we go. Alright. Let's get this fountain done. I'm a designated thrower, so I do work with throwing instead of running. PR 63 some feet. I remember, yeah, we had this conversation. Hell yeah. Which I'm sure Ashley knows what that means more than I do. I uh I, I don't know the uh <laughs> the thing. Zen, have you ever drawn a red panda? Dr Zen drew a very nice drawing of me. Uh if you guys want to see it and send some love to her. I love when people make fan art. It's the sweetest thing you could possibly do, honestly. <laughs> Like, putting in that much time into art just for me is crazy. I would never ask anyone to do that, but I appreciate when you guys do. It's so kind of you. There we go. Uh, my peer for Discus is 103. Dang, dude. Damn, Ashley. Ashley always just hits me with random facts. I'm just like, what the heck? You did stuff? <laughs> Zen needs all the love in the world, but she deserves it. True. 
Shot isn't as fun. My PR is 22 some feet. Yeah, I, um, from the looks of the video that you sent me, I would agree. <laughs> I've never done any of them, but I think discus is a lot, it looks a lot much more fun than, uh, than shot put. Okay, I'm gonna need you to get out of here. Thanks. Thanks, dog. Appreciate it. Okay, um, I know that the top of this little, like, roof thing I gotta do. What is it called? Lower tower roof. Yeah. I think I gotta do this. I don't know if there's other, like, roofs that I've missed. We'll look around a little bit and see. There we go. You got this. I did it for three years in high school. Um, I threw year round. Yeah, actually, again, this is stuff I just did not know. You told me that you played football, I think. I honestly, I j sometimes I just wonder if Ashley just makes stuff up and sees if I can um, figure out where she's lying. Because I've definitely done that to her. I, I, and to a lot of people. I'll just make stuff up and then see if they can figure it out. But um, I genuinely wonder sometimes. I'm serious. I have my videos. Nice. Send those. I need proof. I need proof you do all the things you say you do. <laughs> don't. I'm kidding. I don't care. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, I started the season with 36 ish feet, then got a 63 first year, only like half the season. Dang. I mean, we were talking about how it's like exponential growth, it gets harder and harder as time goes on. So, um, that's crazy. There we go. I love this game, dude. I love, like, the graphics are so nice, but also just, like, <sighs> so, I don't know. Something about, like, how each different power washer works and how, like, it's just built to seem so realistic while also being a video game. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, it's it has the perfect balance of fake and real, and I love that. Perfect balance between for fake, for fake, and for real, for real. I need you to get out of the way. This is literally the most useful, useless piece of equipment ever. Um, it's getting late, so I'm gonna head out. See ya, girl. Thank you for uh, thank you for hopping in, my man. Take care. Uh, I sent you a shot video. Yeah, I just got it. I'll watch it later. You're sending it Apple to to uh, Samsung, so I promise you, I won't even be able to process what's happening in the video, because every time people send me Apple to to samsung it's uh it's impossible to see what's happening and <laughs> the quality just goes literal like dog like water <laughs> i feel like dog water is worse than dog shit that's how i use it it's like for the fact that every single day i tell my straight girlfriend that her lips are like witchcraft it's funny how annoyed she gets but she knows it's a joke <laughs> the quality dies i hate that issue it's all apple's fault it is all Apple's fault, and I don't want to hear it from anyone who says otherwise. Samsung just, like, a couple months ago pushed out a huge update that completely, on our side, it essentially fixed all the issues that they could fix for, um, for, for like, iMessage issues. Because Apple is so in this realm of we need to make our ecosystem completely independent from everyone else's that's why they have like their stupid lightning cable which they got sued for so now they have to use the usb -C cable like they have all these issues that they create just so that they stay in their own realm but all it does is like it first of all it helps destroy the environment which is why they got sued for the for the lightning cable issue and it's just like unnecessary like at this point we're in a world where you're not going to have a monopoly. It's illegal to have a monopoly. Why not just work with the other competition so that you guys, so that we can all just be happy and communicate with each other on these devices made for communication. But like, Apple's put out like stupid BS statements that they were like, oh, we, you know, it doesn't seem like there's too much, uh, there's not many people asking for us to fix these issues, so we're not going to fix them. It's like, no. People have definitely asked you. You're just ignoring them so that you don't have to fix them. It's, it's always been an issue for me. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not a deal breaker for my friendship if you have an Apple phone. But I definitely do judge you a little bit. <laughs> I only judge you because you are... Like, I wouldn't even care if, 
if they were just two separate phone companies, like you know how Xbox and PlayStation are just kind of two different things. We've been working towards crossplay, so there's crossplay now. Can you please place, yo, my man? Okay, now it's straight. And can you please place? Come on, we'll get it eventually. I don't feel like jumping down there. There we go. Look, we're so close. There we go. I didn't press the right button though. Um, like Apple and play. Uh, sorry. Xbox and PlayStation, I don't care if you have a PlayStation. I think those two are made to be separate. And, like, we're still creating cross-play. Recently, there's been cross-platform between the two, which I love. And Sony's always been against it, which is why I haven't been the biggest Sony fanboy. I actually love Sony, um, especially because of, like, Spider-Verse and stuff. Like, they make some really cool stuff. They make a lot of cool film stuff. Um, I, I mean, I know they don't, like, make it, make it, but, like, they are, like, are credited on it, at least. Um... Which means they're allowing it to go through, which is still cool. So like, I don't know. Like, I I don't hate Sony, but I do don't. I didn't like Sony. <laughs> I do don't. I didn't like Sony because for a long time they were against cross platform. Gosh, it's going. It's getting to that point of the night where I can't talk. Let me drink some water. Maybe I'll fix it. Me and Zen have the same type of phone, I think, and same pop socket. That's crazy. I don't have a pop suck anymore. It, I kept breaking them because I kept every. I would just keep fidgeting with it and opening it and closing it and opening it and yeah. But yeah, like Sony, I'm okay with now because they've been more open across cross platform. They've been doing better about it. And Xbox has always been very like they don't really like Xbox. Really doesn't do many exclusives. Oh, what I will say right now, I'm pissed at Sony. Like I don't, I don't like them because they're trying to block this Activeblizz deal. Which don't get me wrong, I don't think. Xbox should have any monopoly and I'm not the biggest like I'm not totally kept up on everything that Xbox owns so maybe they shouldn't own it my problem is that Sony is like the way they're trying to stop this merger is saying stuff like oh they're gonna stop us from playing COD games and stuff and I'm like you have never let Xbox players play any of your games even Last of Us which has been out for like a decade we can't play yet you're bringing it to Steam maybe I think, and even then, I don't even know if that's coming out or been out or what. Like, there's no advertisements around it, but like, you've never let us play games, uh, the games that you create. So like, that's like, and COD's not going away. Like, it's it, I know for a fact. Like, Xbox is not gonna just try to like they would get so much shit if they tried to uh, make a COD exclusive to Xbox. I mean, they're bringing it to Nintendo for for sake. Like, come on, it's not gonna. But like, Sony's just so bad about like. The way they are arguing against the merger between Activeblaze and Xbox is so hypocritical because they are doing all the stuff that they're accusing Xbox of potentially doing in the future. Probably because they know that since they did it, they're like, oh, Xbox can do it, so we can't let them. And that pisses me off because I want I can't afford to buy both platforms. So I want to just like play all the games on one if I can. Like I'd prefer to just have a PlayStation and an Xbox so I could play all the games. But that's not feasible for most people. So I like it when I like Xbox because they make games like available to everyone. Do I think that they should have a monopoly? Definitely not. And do I think they're the best? Definitely not. I'm not going to judge someone for having PlayStation, but I will judge someone for having Apple. And that was the main point of this argument or this conversation. <laughs> I really want to fight this one girl who's in the same heat of the race as me. She was being such a <laughs> part of my French penguin bitch. Um, who's in the same heat of the race as me? What does that mean? I block Zen so I can't see it. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, oh, oops. <laughs> Imagine falling off this giant scaffolding and just being, oh, oops, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh crap, am I losing battery? Yep, I'm fine. You know how I know I'm losing battery? There's no more vibration when I, uh, <laughs> when I, when I clean stuff with a power wash. Whenever I clean it, I can tell, and then as soon as um the uh the vibration stops i know i'm getting like closer to the end of the battery life i actually muted for that burp you're welcome um we ran at the same time i wanted to fight her so bad i got you i prefer not but i really don't mind i got you there it is yo didn't i call it let's go let's just get the oops Let's get the charging cable. All right.
It's all tangled up, but it's fine. It's a very long cable, and I'm not that far from my Xbox. You know what I gotta do? I gotta play some 360 again. I set it up, and I haven't played it in a while. I gotta play some uh, Lego, Super Marvel, and stuff. There we go. There's the vibration. Um, Here we go. I was just gonna... For some reason, I just... Sometimes I'll just be like, no, I don't want to clean the window right now. I want to clean this other thing. <laughs> like, it's like the same thing. I'm still cleaning, but I'm just like, no, I, I don't want to clean this thing right now. I'll clean it later. It's so silly, but, you know, whatever makes me happy, I guess. Whatever is the most satisfying to me. Lord Croft, hello. I trust Winston has extri ex extri extri extricated himself from the freezer in time to make you tea. I got there eventually, all right? I don't want to talk about it. Let's use this one. This one's probably like one of the best ones we could be using, but um, I just haven't been using it because most of the dirt's not too strong. There are two things that will always find their way out, the truth and Winston. I assume all of these are just jokes that you guys would like if you're Tomb Raider fans, right? Like I think due to my not being, because is Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider isn't a Sony property, right? I think I've just not played it. I think it's not because of like a exclusivity thing. I think I just haven't played it. I feel that pain then. Dude, I've, um, I, I have never done track, but we had to run the mile very often in, uh, in, in gym and, or in phys ed. And I would, uh, sometimes I would kind of race, like I'd race people. Like I'd go in front just cause I had the energy. And like, if I don't have friends in gym, then I'll just run and I'll actually put effort in. And I always had people side eyeing me or like, like, uh, getting pissed off at me because they're like, oh, this show off. Why are you showing off so much? You know, you don't have to, like, race, right? I'm just like, I don't care. <laughs> Why do you care? <laughs> I'm just doing my thing. Like, let me do my thing. But it's different when you're, you know, actually racing someone, I think. To be on my high school varsity track team, you have to have a sub five mile. Jesus. Dude, I think when I ran the mile in, like, middle school, I'm pretty sure it took me, like, 12 or 14 minutes. Dude, I'm out of shape though. Like I I I had to go to um I went to New York. If you guys were in my Discord, you know I went to New York to see a play. I haven't even talked about that, which is crazy. I should talk about that trip. But um we had to run to the bus to the train station to get our tickets quickly and then run into the train station to not miss the train. And dude, I ran for like not even two minutes and I was already out of breath. I think it's just because I wasn't prepared to run. So I didn't really like figure out my breath ahead of time. But it's just crazy how fast I got out of breath. I think it's I think it's straight up just because I wasn't prepared. But um I felt so out of shape in that moment. I think I think I'm better though. I think normally I can do better. I was at 457. You were really cutting it close, but uh I mean good job on making it. I guess it is varsity, so I guess that makes sense. I don't think they'd ever do that for our school. Our school was a very nerdy school. Like we were like, our football players were tiny, like, that's why we always lost. Um, yeah, we were not, like, a tough school or, like, an athletic school, I'd say. We had a couple of, like, the athletic people, but, like, they were also, like, the super rich people. <laughs> so, I don't know, like, they they probably, I, I think a lot of them were known for just cheating through their homework and then they had time to actually, like, work out after school. Or they just didn't do their homework, I don't know. So she's not anywhere near a runner. She's not in shape at all, and she thinks she's better than everyone. So we ended up in the same heat of the race. I wasn't putting full effort because I didn't want to hurt myself. Because I hadn't been at practice, I don't typically run, so I don't. I didn't really try at the race. So we crossed the stop point. She finished faster than me because I wasn't trying much, and she just shouted, "Yeah, I wasn't last for lunch." Which I was so mad because I knew I didn't put all that effort in, and she was br bragging, and I just want to punch her. Yeah, I totally understand what you mean. I, dude, high school and like. Literally, all of that schooling, like, just normal schooling sucks. I don't know how it is for everyone. I know that if you hit up any of my friends, like, obviously, they're all good people, but if you hit any of them up and ask them what they think about our high school, every single one of them will give you the same answer, I think, which is sucked. It sucked. They had their friends, but, like, they had their friend group, which I haven't even been a part of for a very long time. So that was cool. But, man... Um, high school just sucks. All those schools just suck. It also doesn't help being stuck with the same people for so long. I nearly cried because my mental health has been a dumpster fire. I, I'm sorry, Zen. I get it. I um, I hope I hope your night gets better. Cause um, 
I, I totally get it. It's so un some people, man. Some people. I mean, for one, just saying I'm like, it's like saying I'm not last for once. I think is a very funny thing to say if you're like used to being last, and also if the person who is last is your friend. But I think bragging and like going over the top with it is very frustrating. Come on, let me let me just thank you. I will fight her for you. That didn't do well at shot or high jump. Uh, she's just always wrong and thinks she's right. I mean, yeah. Some people are just like that, I think. Some people are just like... Just think they deserve it all or have it all. I don't know. It happens. It's life. I think it's one of those things you just gotta get used to eventually. Unfortunately. I Listen, I would love to give any other advice or say anything else. But I think at the end of the day, those are like just the people you have to get used to. The thing is so f the thing about being a comp sci major is so funny is that like if you go into IT or anything, which I think majority like I'd say a lot of CS majors go in for that, and they don't go in for sorry I thought there was something underneath there's not most CS majors I would say don't go in for like gaming and stuff but like if you go in for stuff that's like IT and stuff most of the people you're gonna meet are not aware of what they're talking about when it comes to IT. And what that means is that very often you're going to get people like that who think they're right and they're not and stuff like that. And it's a lot of just like, you just got to get used to it and get through it and make your money, you know? All all life is, is making money and then having fun after. That's, that's how I see it. Like, I would love to just say there's more to life. And I, I in a way, I am saying there's more to life by saying like, you know, part of it is having fun. But um, I think part of it is just learning to deal with, like, the worst things you got to deal with and just get through it, and then you'll be happy, you know? Oh, it's this thing that's not done yet. Come on. You freaking, you freaking dumb. Come here. There we go, finally. Um, She kept on yelling, I didn't get last, and laughing. See, that's the thing, right? Like, if I say it once, it's one thing, but if I say it a million times, you got, you know. It's it's interesting. I think some there are some people I think who do that just because they don't understand social cues and they'll just like they'll, they'll like because I think like being mean is one of those things where you gotta know the person you're being mean to. This is something I've talked about in my server and stuff before and like in call because I like obviously a, a big part of my humor sometimes is being mean and I try to make sure that people are comfortable with it and if they aren't they're always free to DM me and people have and I've been like okay I get it. Uh, not the time, not the place, whatever, whatever. Um, the problem is people take me being mean or like doing mean jokes as a sign or an excuse to be mean to me, like to be mean to me when I haven't even talked to you. Like, for example, like if I'm being mean to Ellie in a public VC and someone joins for the first time and they don't know me and I'm not being mean to them, I'm not saying anything to them and they start doing that bit to me, that's uncomfortable, right? Like, I don't like that. And I've had to tell, I've had to like, like, stop talking to people or tell people to stop doing that because I don't know them that well and they're just doing this to me. I think that's one of those situations where, like, they just don't get the social cue. Like, they they understand what the joke is and, like, want to join in on it but don't understand that it's not the place or that they're just going overboard with it. Like, even when I am doing a mean joke, I try to watch the person's reaction and be aware when they're uncomfortable. And I think some people will also just not do that. So then when when people get upset about about the joke they're doing, they'll be, they'll be like, oh, but you do the same thing. And it's like, no, I don't. I watch out for what you're doing. Um, Wait, I didn't give you eyebrows. Going to fix that? <laughs> All good. I didn't even notice. I was just in awe. I love I love the max, max. I love the mask you drew. It's one of my favorite things. I've been seeing a lot of masks. Um, Like Risco did one recently. Uh, that just looks beautiful, and I love it. It's, like, exactly what I was hoping for when I told people that, like... When I told people, like, my mask... I put this backwards, and we're gonna... You know, let's just fix it. When I told people, like, about my mask as a art thing and put it out there as, like, a thing that I have, I was really hoping that people would do exactly what you and Risco did, and I'm really glad, like, that you did, and I love how it came out. Because that thing of just covering the eyes with the mask is my favorite. It's so cool. I'm honestly tempted to make a couple, maybe sell them, could be con kind of cool, like, uh, I don't know, I think, I think it's cool. 
<laughs> I, I want to at least make one for myself just to wear sometimes. But yeah, that, that like, I, I, I've, I, I take sociology and stuff, so I'm like a loser and like, <laughs> I like analyzing how people act and behave around each other or like in different situations and stuff. And it's like, that is one of those things I've noticed as like, um, a lot of people are really bad about like reading the room. <laughs> like a lot of people, like I'd say like, yeah, I'd say a lot more people than you would think are really bad. Like a big percentage of the population is just not good at reading the room. And maybe they don't want to. I think maybe some, some of them might just be like born rich or whatever. So they're not used to being told no or whatever, like stuff like that, you know? And I think some of them are just born like that, you know, because everyone's like born different ways. All their brains work different ways. Um, like I have some friends who like, they tell me like, please explicitly call me out on stuff when I'm being an idiot. And but me, you have to be a little more nicer because if I'll just feel so bad and like fall apart because of it. Where is this thing? There it is. And you would be on the side. There it is. Um, I would buy, dude. Honestly, could be fire. I've been really thinking about merch. Because the thing is, like, I don't have, like, a giant community, I don't think. Like, I think I have a, a lot of people who are very kind and put in a lot of time into watching my streams. And I appreciate you guys a lot. Like, don't even get me wrong. Um, but I don't think I have, like, a giant community that's, like... Especially because I have... A lot of my community overlaps with Ellie's. And his is more, like, family-friendly. They're kids. Like, they don't... They're not going to have, like, the money to pay for, like, merch and stuff, necessarily. I'm sure some people will. But I don't think, like, the majority would. So I think... Making merch, like, I don't think it's necessarily, like, if, if I was going about this in a purely logical way, I don't think that's, like, the best decision right now because, um, because I don't think I'm going to sell as much as I'm going to be, like, as, as much as I need to, like, break even for the amount of work I put in. But with that being said, like, um, I, I'm scared to even joke around like that to be honest. I was gonna call you a loser, but then I was like, wait, I don't know if I'm close enough to- No, dude, you're good. You're a mod, bro. Not everyone gets mod status. You're good. You're chilling. If it's ever a problem, I'll I'll, I'll DM you and I'll just let you know. And you you never have to take it personally. It's just that, you know, sometimes you just gotta communicate and let people know. But you're totally good. Um, But yeah, so... um, Like, I I don't think necessarily in a, in a logical way it's a good idea to make merch. But I just like the idea of having stuff that I've created with my own hands, you know? Like, I was actually talking to Scrub about it earlier, and he was like, dude, we could, like, yeah, make stuff on Teespring. And I was like, no, I refuse. I refuse to make something off another website. If we're going to make merch, I'm going to figure out a way to do it in my own house and ship it out myself. Because I want it to be, I want it to have a homemade touch, and I want it to have, like, be as good as I can possibly make it. And if I don't buy my own, like, I'm not going to, if I put it on Teespring, I'm not going to buy it. Because I'm not going to put in $40 or whatever it is each time to get an another t-shirt that I probably won't even wear. Because I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I would wear my own merch. Um, just because I I feel like it would be kind of like... <laughs> it, I, I think like ego-wise, I'd feel a little bad. But um, but yeah, I want to like make it homemade. I really only joke like that to one of my friend groups. And we all know we're joking, so we're, they're okay. Yeah, that's the thing. So we do it with Ellie and like... I, I, I do it with Ellie all the time, and, like, I think we both know how far to take it, and every once in a while, we'll push the boundary just to, you know, just to bring that extra spice into it, but, like, most of the time, we're pretty good, uh, and, like, we just have, you know, I have ideas, dude, I would wear your merch so proudly. That's so kind of you, dude. I honestly really want to work on this. I, um, but, yeah, I have, I have a couple friends, and then I have, like, I have different friend groups that have different levels of bully. Like, Ashley... Very high level of bully. <laughs> I never stop. But like some friends, it's like if I go too far, I know how they'll react. So I try not to. I think the important thing with those jokes is just knowing the boundaries and also being close enough to do that. Don't do it with the first time you see someone, you know, unless like they're clearly OK with it. I've done it for the first time I saw someone once and I love him. He's like the best now. Like we're now we're like pretty good friends. But that's like that's not going to happen every time, you know. Oops. Uh, I think there must be something on the underside. Yeah, there. Oh, and over here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Um, lol, ad singular. <laughs> Rude. Interrupting Ari. <laughs> Ari, how dare the Gecko, Geico ad? Gecko ad, too, technically. 
Yo, my earring is slightly pinching at my hoodie. Let me just fix this. I fiddle with my earring so much. It's so bad. I don't know why. I got a so Sonic ad with the best music. Yo, congrats. I um I don't I, I don't watch enough Twitch to know all the ads. I tried to watch recently. I watched Click Stream and then I watched some of Ellie's streams. Uh if you guys don't watch uh Click Well, you should give him a shout. Or you should give him a watch. Uh you know what? Let's give him a little bit of a shout out. Why not? He's he gave me a shout out. I'm gonna give him a shout. Uh, I believe it's just click well. Let me just check just to make sure there's no underscores or stupid things <laughs> like Bishop has. I touched my earrings way too much. Yeah, same. Um, where can I check his name? Yeah, click well. Okay. It's just that. Let's give him a bit of a shout. Uh, send him some love. He's a good man. Uh, he gave me some love. He, he helped boost my YouTube video, which was very kind of him. He didn't have to do that. I'd only rated him like once. So, um, you know, he didn't have to do all that. But, uh, very kind man, and, uh, I appreciate it. I'm always taking out and putting in my earrings. Yeah, I've been doing that, like, a lot. I don't know why. It's really bad. Especially my newest piercing. You got a new one? Where'd you get the new one, uh, Zen? I didn't know you got a new one. That's sick. I'm not an earring person, I don't think. Or, sorry, I'm not a piercing person. Like, I like the earrings, but I don't think I'd go above that with any more. But tattoos, I think i go crazy with. For her birthday, newest as of March 11th. Got you. It was your birthday, March 11th? Go into Google Calendar real quick. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Um, I'm really bad at remembering birthdays. I gotta actually just write them down. March 11th. Zen B-Day. And repeats every year. And that. There we go. Yeah, I'm really bad about writing... Uh, no, March 10th? Oh, okay, it's March 10th. Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. It's okay. Hold on a second. Let's put it on March 10th. There we go. Now it's Zen B Day. Yeah, I, um, I'm really bad about remembering people's birthdays. I think I only remember Ellie's because he was so adamant about not remembering his. So he kind of screwed himself there. <laughs> um, this is Fanny's Zen. Emotes. Emotes are funny, bro. I need to add more emotes. That's another thing. Dude, there's so much stuff to do with stream. I just get overwhelmed and do none of it. I have to do stuff for my Discord server too. I just get overwhelmed and do none of it. I think I'm going to just pull an all-nighter, get as much work as possible done today for school, and maybe get myself some time to work on stream stuff because I really want to add... There's some stuff I want to add for ages and I just don't. Aria, when's your birthday? Christmas. Quimis. Uh, December 25th. Straight up. On God. Try and sleep for an hour at least. Um, I think I will. I think I will try. We will see. I think I don't have too much to do tomorrow. I have a Zoom meeting at 5 and then we have a stream at 8. So, um, as long as I'm awake for the Zoom meeting. But I also have to get some work done for that meeting. Um, just so we have like something to show the teacher to be like, hey, we did stuff. So, um, if I can just get through that, then yeah, we'll probably be fine. I just gotta get through that work, and I've had this one assignment that I haven't done, and it's been late for like a week now. Uh, I think it's officially a week today, so it'll be eight days tomorrow. Or like at midnight. So I think I'm gonna just try to get through both of those, and then maybe take some sleep. And maybe just some uh, stream stuff, just so I can feel like I got some stream stuff done. Because I really haven't been doing it as much as I wish I could. Obviously, you know, you get why, because I have like college stuff to do like i it, it's not easy but i would like to put in some work into stream stuff soon so <laughs> oh yeah i'm stupid my bad it's all good it's all good i think mine's very easy to remember though so and yours is uh oh yeah yours we had this conversation earlier yours is um mario day <laughs> yours is also pretty easy to remember all right we're about to be I think we're about to be completely done with the um, mansion, with the manor. We'll look and see if there's anything we missed, but we should be done with the manor, and then we just do the uh, the funky little oh 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 okay the funky little mount, uh, fountain over there, not mountain. How far are we? Two hours. Hmm. Let's see if we can do the other DLC. We might just go a little over time. I think that's okay. I would like to, or we can do one or two of the bonus ones, and we can do the other DLC next week. Because I don't think I have anything next Tuesday. Generally, I try to keep Tuesdays empty. Um, 
I also think for Hi-Fi Rush, I've been doing it level by level. But that means I'm going to be streaming for like three more months of it. Or like two or three months. I think two months of it now. And there's a bunch of other games I really want to play. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to do two levels a stream now. But for the VOD, I'm going to cut at each level. So they can watch each level separately. And I'll just upload like... I don't do... Oh, I do do things Sunday. But I don't... Mm. Wait. Oh, yeah, then I can post it Monday and I'll figure it out. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll I'll post it some way so that everyone can still see everything that, like, you know, they want to see for the VOD. Um, maybe I'll just post both of them back to back or, like, one in the morning, one in the night on um, on Monday. What's up, Ellie? You said doo-doo. How did the game go? Is it done yet? I have a friend whose birthday is on Halloween, and then my other friend shared a birthday with my brother, but I don't talk to either of them anymore. Makes sense. Uh, 41W, yo, good job, bro. Yo, it's all on you. It's all because of you, man. It's because you sat there, and you. it's it's all because of all the time you put into to watching the team. Ellie was telling me all about his team's stats and how the game works uh, earlier today. And, like, how not how the game works, but how playoffs work and how ga uh, teams get into playoffs. So he was like... Um, Currently, his team hasn't been doing too well, but um, they just got three more points, so they're at six points, so maybe they'll bring it back, you know? I mean, they've got months and months before they actually have to, uh, before, like, playoffs actually start, but, um, yeah, soccer moment. Today was Canada national team, not city team. Oh, got you, got you. Um, well, that sucks. That means that they didn't get three, three <laughs> they didn't get three uh, points. Um, I'm dizzy and I've just been sitting down. Oh, Penguin, I hope you're okay. I feel like I'm 268 years old. <laughs> oh, because of the uh, soreness from the... Um, from track. Track meet. I get you. Oh, I got you. Yeah, dude, after... Oh, dude, I haven't even talked about the, the New York City trip. I got distracted again. I, um, I agree with Ellie. Penguin, eat a snack or something. That's a good idea. <laughs> Is that in place track mania? No. Yes. Yes, that's exactly what she meant, I think. Um, but yeah, so on Saturday, I went to New York City with some friends. It was a nice 40-minute train ride. Um, we were there from like 5 p.m. to way too late, like 1 a.m. Dude, I got home so late. I was supposed to play L uh, games with Ellie that night, and I just got back so late that I couldn't. All right, let's see how far we've gotten, because I think it should just be... Ooh, wall bases. We got we missed a base. I don't even know what a wall base is. Is it down there? It is. Okay, it's down there. We'll be able to find that pretty easily. Ellie, you been okay today? Yeah, about you. I'm glad you're okay, Ellie. Um, but yeah, so um oh there it is. Um jeez, I'm so bad at remembering what I was talking about. Tower coins. We gotta find find more of these coin things. Queen queen? Queen things? Uh, yeah, so we went to New York and we went to see... So my friend uh, is taking this class that he can... Uh, he's taking a class where we he has to watch a bunch of theater things. Um, so we went to watch a play and uh, BRB guy let my dog out. All right. You got it. Um, so yeah, we went to see this play called Book of Mormon. It's made by the guys who made South Park, which is crazy to me honestly for some reason i always just thought like it, it, i always thought that was like a big like it's a it's a very popular play but i always thought it was like one of those plays that like are super old timey you know um so i didn't realize that it was like just um like a modern thing like i didn't realize that the guys who made south park made it which was crazy to me um but it was very good it was funny it was a little bit like, you could kind of tell that it was kind of an old play and made, like, a long time ago. Like, there were some parts where they just kept doing the same joke for way too long and it got tiring. But, um, but yeah, I would highly recommend if you guys want to get into Broadway. It's a pretty interesting thing to see. That's for sure. Where's this last one? Come on. Um, New York Concrete Jungles. Yeah. It was it was um, a scary place. <laughs> it was a very um, big place on a lot of people, and I don't know how COVID didn't spread like crazy there. I mean, it did, but I don't know how everyone there isn't dead. 
I hurt my knee and I want to cry every time I use it. I'm sorry. I hope I hope it gets better. It hurts from my knee down. I got you. Yeah, I hope it gets better. That sucks. Just uh, don't walk. Just just sit in your room and watch twitch.tv slash and uh, you'll be okay. <laughs> Alright, I keep missing all these qu queen things. Where are they? Like, is it on the other side? Oh my gosh. It's so hard to find these things. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Yeah, that's fair. That's uh, That's valid. Is it this one? It's the, this is one of them. Let's see if we can spray it down from here. There we go. Is this one? This is one. There we go. And this is one. There we go. Come on. Gimme. Give gimme, give gimme. Give I know there's... I know there's something. <laughs> Bro. There we go. Thank you. Um... Maybe a doctor recommends that. Any doctors in chat? Any doctors who want to tell Penguin to watch stream? Uh, and it looks like it's all fountain stuff. There we go. Look at us go. This fountain is still a pretty big guy. So yeah, we're probably just gonna... Instead of doing the other DLC, I think let's just do... Um, maybe one of the bonus jobs. Um, I'm gonna take a little like five minute break after this. Just to maybe grab a quick snack and stuff. And then uh, we'll do one of the... Uh, one or two of the bonus jobs depending on how long they take. And then, I won't say anything yet because I don't know if I have anything next Tuesday. But assuming I don't, I will come back next Tuesday to finish the rest of this game. Um, if I do have something, I'll be back eventually. I mean, to be honest, this game's already out of the limelight. Like I said, it's really not that big a deal when I come back. So, at some point, we'll finish this game. Um, I mean, technically, it's already finished. But we'll finish all the extra content that I haven't done yet. I asked my mom to take me because it's been off and on, but it's constant now. Just my favorite. It probably doesn't help that I still did my workout today. Yeah, you should stay off the leg if you, uh, if it's hurting so much. That was a bloody blood idea, wasn't it? Bloody bright idea. <laughs> oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And... We can go here. And there we go. There we go. Alright, let's just do these corners because these four are kind of annoying. Let's see if we can just get as much of these cleaned up as possible. To make things a little bit easier for ourselves in the future. Thankfully the grime is very, uh, very minimal. So I can use the largest, uh, largest nozzle and it's totally fine. Honestly, I think we're going to rip right through this fountain. Because, um... It's not looking too bad just yet. <laughs> um, back. Welcome back, Zen. How you doing, bro? There we go. And let's just get this down here. Shouldn't be too bad. Can we get just a little bit more dirt out of here? There we go. I think one more down should be fine. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, maybe not perfect. Maybe I'm a liar, but it's pretty good. Uh, I should sleep now, and I hope it gets better tomorrow by some miracle. I got a penguin stuffy to hug. I think that might help. It's a fuzzy purple penguin. How can it get better? Just hang out to sleep. All right. Have a good night, penguin. Thank you so much for all the time uh, you've spent with me. I appreciate it. Time's like the most valuable resource, and uh, appreciate how much you're spending with me. Have a great night. Um, I should probably see some sort of doctor for completely different reasons, though. I, um, yeah, I mean, Americans, I don't think ever, ever go to a doctor. I don't think I've ever, I've never been to a hospital, like, yet in my life. Other than, you know, being birthed out of one. Imagine if I wasn't born in a hospital. Like, imagine my parents were just like, oh, yeah, we lied. We don't know where you were born. You were just, like, kind of found in the woods. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Then I've never been in a hospital in my life. Time is the most valuable resource and you wasted it here. Idiot. <laughs> Good job. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I wonder how much time of my life I've wasted playing this game. But then again, if it brings you joy, is it really a waste? Hmm. 
The answer is yes, by the way. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Hospitals suck. Don't go unless you need to. I'm still here for you, Ari. Thanks, thanks, Ashley. Yeah, hospitals, uh... I mean... I, I, I have tried to avoid going. I, I've somehow gone my entire life without going. Which is, uh... I don't know, it's kind of crazy. It really shows how much I do with my life. <laughs> the fact that I've never gone to a hospital. Uh, I don't I don't really get hurt. Because I'm, I'm a very careful person and I never go outside. I Listen, if you could get hurt playing Fortnite, I'm sure I would have found a way. But um, I also don't rage too much. That's a lie. If you saw me in VC yesterday, I was raging very hard. Because I kept dying in CSGO. But, you know, that's why I don't play CSGO anymore. It always fascinates me when people break their stuff playing video games. Like, I think I have definitely, like, brought my controller up, like, about to break it. And then I was like, okay, don't be dumb. But, like, I've never actually, like, almost broken it or slammed it, really. I've dropped my controller. That's about it. Really got to keep those anger issues in check if you're, like, breaking your shit over a video game, bro. Not going to lie. I can't wait for this clip to get taken out of context when I, like, get really pissed off and break something one day. <laughs> hey, Ari, you should have kept your anger in check. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. I already knew you were... I, I, I'm, I, yo, you in the future, me in the future, Ari, yo, don't take their shit, man. It's not worth it. They're stupid and dumb. Break your stuff if you want to break it, all right? Because you're you, and you get to do whatever the hell you want. I've been to hospitals a few times. I've broken a TV before. I threw the controller at it. That's really dumb. That's really dumb, Ashley. Reasons I went. Ear infections as a child. They were really bad. Uh, croup, I think it's called. And then uh, there was also fun night in the ER until 10. Madden had me tight. I forgot you play Madden. Ugh. Play better games. Like Power Wash Simulator. I was prone to ear infections as a kid. Yeah, I just never had like any of that stuff. I don't know. I'm I was lucky, I think. I wanted to make mac and cheese today, and I didn't. And now I regret not making it because it would have been a really nice after stream food. I think I'm just gonna heat up some spring rolls because I love spring rolls and some fries, and that will be my after stream snack before I get to work. If I do pull an all-nighter today, I'm going to probably sleep through <laughs> tomorrow. I'm just going to sleep until 5 when my meeting starts. So I should probably, like, have some actually good food before I sleep. Spring rolls, gimme. Dude, I love spring rolls. I love Indo-Chinese food. Like, that's my favorite. And, um, so, like, a lot of, like, uh, spring rolls, like, Manchurian, Gobi Manchurian, um, rice, fried rice, and, like, noodles and stuff. And, um, my parents hate me because I just, every time they ask, hey, what do you want for dinner? Or, like, whenever they ask, like, hey, do you want to go out tonight? I'm like, yes, let's go to this one specific Indo-Chinese place I love. Or whenever they have people over, it's like, they always get some Indo-Chinese food for me. It's just, like, it's my special treat. It's my treat. So, um, before they left for India, they got some frozen spring rolls for me to just heat up in the air fryer. And a couple of days after they left, I remembered I had it. I ate some, and it was exquisite. It was the best crab I've ever had. It was so good. And the fact that I can make it in 10 minutes in an air fryer is crazy because I should be just loading up on them. But I'm pretty good at, like, trying to stay healthy a little bit. Like, I eat salads, and I, I tried not to just eat a bunch of spring rolls and, like, carbs. So I've been very careful about not just going crazy with it. But... I think tonight's the night. I think tonight I have some more. Because they're amazing. I'll trade my I have mac and cheese. Dude, I, I finished all my mac and cheese containers. And then I told my mom, hey, don't get more. We'll just make some like in the Instapot. You know, like it's it's all good. And then I just never did. I'm just too lazy. I think maybe we should get those little cups again. <laughs> my treat is sushi. Specifically eel sushi. Yeah, I, uh, I don't eat meat mostly. I, I have uh, eggs, which I guess counts a little bit. But... Um, I mostly don't eat meat, so, um, I don't know what that tastes like, but sushi is good. Rice, just like vegetarian, like rice sushi is pretty good. I am a fan. There we go. All right. 
We're making some good progress. What time is it right now? 10.20, okay. I think we can finish... We can definitely finish one job before midnight. I have some good Instapot easy recipes. You should send some. If you have it on like Pinterest or anything and you have like a board, you should send it. I've been trying to keep cooking stuff on there because I always forget. Like, I just forget recipes. I know you sent me a brownie recipe or something once that I gotta do eventually, but I just haven't been baking or anything. Got a tickle in my throat. I can feel it. I can feel it coming along. My throat is not used to talking this much, I think. <laughs> Yesterday was a talky stream, but at the same time, it's Minecraft, and I was just chilling out to the music. Um, today's stream is more like... I've tried to uh, actually talk, <laughs> because I think the noise of the water is not enough. Um... I don't think I do have a Pinterest board, but I should make one. Ari, your nose sucks. 500 milliliters of air every breath. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Can you hear my sniffles? I think I'm getting sick. Bro, one of my friends, I think she had a cold and she bit me. And I think that's what... <laughs> I think that's what gave me the sickness. Can you guys... Yeah, you can hear like the sniffles. I'm sorry. <laughs> I try not to make like noises like that into the mic, but like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this every time I need to take a breath. No, I think I'm getting like the weest bit sick, but I'm fighting it off. I think, like I don't feel sick most of the time. Like I can tell, like I got slight sniffles and stuff, but I don't think it's that bad. Sniffles are normal human things, yeah. I try not to burp into the mic. That's the one that I always feel bad about. Cause the thing is, we do it as a joke, like. In VC a lot we do it and stuff, but like in stream I'm just like I feel so bad because I know there's so many people who just hate those noises Should I do an ASMR stream once? <laughs> that would be so silly <laughs> That'd be really funny It'd be funny because it would make me cringe as much as you guys I don't know if my mic's made for it though I don't know if because like I also have a bunch of settings. I don't feel like fixing all the settings to make it work If I do it, I would probably have to do it before my parents come home so that because if it's ASMR, you guys probably don't want to hear, like, all the, no like, doors slamming and stuff outside. There we go. Okay, that's the outer done. Let's get this fountain top thing done. This is the first floor we've had to do in a while. Everything is done dusted over here in Egypt, and I'll be back in England to see your handiwork soon. That would be funny. I think it would be funny. I think, if anything, i do it, like, 1 a.m. I know Markiplier did it once where he, um, he was, like... Oh, I'm gonna do like ASMR and it was like happy wheels or whatever and the the plot of it Like the story of why he was doing ASMR was that there's people sleeping I don't know if that was true. I don't know if there was actually people sleeping or if that was just his excuse for doing ASMR But um, I think it could be funny Even a stream with someone I should I should do some sort of funny stream or even a stream with someone not just myself um, I think you would do a funny stream yourself. I think you could. Can your mic do that? I know some mics have very strong noise cancellation. So my mic is set up to have, um, it's got a bunch of filters set up that Ellie has helped me set up. And I think Scrub has also looked at. So, um, right now you probably hear some noise cancellation. Like I'm, I'm able to, like, it, it's, it's at a pretty good level for me. Like I don't mind it. I think if I just turn all that off, I'm pretty sure the wave three is like pretty sensitive. Um, so I think, I think I'd be able to. Yeah, I think I could. This is the first floor where, where I was going to say this earlier, but I got distracted. This is the first floor we are, uh, power washing since, since last time we played or like probably a while ago. Yeah. Last time we played was that temple. I remember, um, pretty nice. It's nostalgic to the old power washing stuff that I had to do. Because a lot of this game is, I mean, like, while it is, like, fun and satisfying, if I want to get the achievements, I have to beat every single level. So I had a lot of floors that I just had to power wash. I remember one of the, one, one of the worst ones was the skate park. Because I wasn't ready for that one. I didn't even know, like, I didn't know how kind of boring it would get. Because, like, some of the other ones, like, the other things I have to wash, it's a little more fun because there's, like, more there. But for this one, I'm literally going in a flat, like, line, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just going 
and like clearing out a square so it was like that like the skate park was the worst because it was my introduction to hey you're gonna have to clean floors and it's gonna be the most boring part of the game <laughs> it's kind of nice it's it's like it's relaxing you know i just get in the zone and do it i want to get power sim i feel like it'd be nice after a long day yeah little thought needed 100 percent why i played it i would just hop and call with my friends and we just talk for like hours and i just play it i just get like one or two levels done today and it'd be awesome it'd be amazing um, I think this kind of game is good for just chatting streams. It's one of those games just meant for you to wind down. Yeah, totally. That's the thing. Like, I've had a lot of hectic streams lately. I realized that I made a bunch of commitments to make we like weekly streams with other people. And I think the charm of my channel a lot of the time... Uh, uh, my friend is annoyed at me. Oops, I'm sorry to hear that. Hydrate. Thank you, Zen. Yeah, I think the charm of my channel a lot of the time is just that, like, it's me. Like, it's Ari. Like, that's, like, that's kind of the whole point, right? It's not meant to be, like, a group project or anything. Like, I'm, I'm, this is my channel, so I try to, because I, it's my fault, to be honest. I'm sure it'll be okay. If they're your friend, I'm sure it'll work out. Um, I, I think if, if I only played games with other people, it wouldn't feel like my channel anymore. So that's why when, so Cloud actually, if you guys know Cloud, um, he's the guy who made my starting and ending screens, uh, coffee links on Twitter. Um, very, very awesome dude. Love the guy. And I was talking to him recently and he reminded me of Power Wash Sim and was like, oh, there's like DLC. Have you played it yet? And I was like, oh my God, no, I should go do that. And I think that's when I was like, okay, I should stream this because I mean, look, I, I love achievement hunting. That is my thing, but I wanted to have a stream that was not achievement hunting. It was not, um, you know, playing playing games with like Ellie and Roth and like Bishop and Daisy and Bond, um, and Zach. I don't think Zach's been in any recent ones, but like I didn't want anything like that to just be the entire channel. I wanted to have my own fun with it as well, which is why I'm like, I've really been enjoying the stream today. Like I I. I, I'm not like the usual like super excitable self that I am on on multiplayer streams So I don't know if it always expresses or like shows but I I'm loving this stream I'm having a lot of fun because I just get to relax and talk to you guys and kind of show my own personality and my own thoughts instead of just uh, uh Yeah, and also I hate Ellie like he's just a total piece of shit. So <laughs> Yeah, you no, know, I love you man, but uh, it's nice to have my own self in my channel, right? Like it's nice to just chill and play play games and not worry about achievements, not worry about, like, you know, trying to be super excitable and funny. It's just nice to have a conversation. No, nah, it's Ellie's channel? Oh, my bad. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot that, uh, he made two channels. I think we had this, I think we did this as a bit in the past, that this was just another channel of Ellie's. I'm not a real person. Ellie just made me up. <laughs> Ellie made me up so that he could get more views. Pretend like he had friends. But yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow's stream. It's gonna be duck game. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be... It's gonna piss me off, I think. <laughs> Ellie face reveal? I mean, it, it... I mean... When I when I do show up on stream, it is essentially an Ellie face reveal. You can figure out what he looks like through that, I think. I think he's distinct enough that you wouldn't be able to pick him out of a lineup, but like, just based on my face, but like, you know, when you see his face one day, which I'm sure, I'm sure one of these days you might, uh, when he officially reveals, you'll know, you'll know what we've been talking about all these years. Um, you had like Dan and son. So that's the thing. I've talked to Ellie about reviving it, but, um... He hasn't been in the mood lately, and I haven't... Like, I've been working on my own stuff, so we haven't. But, I mean, if there's real people out there who want to watch it, maybe, uh... Maybe we will? Maybe we will. I don't know. I can't say anything, because it's obviously a two-person channel. Ellie has to have time for it, first of all, because he's he and I have both been putting a lot of time into streaming, which means we don't have as much time for YouTube. So he has to have time for it. I have to have time for it. We have to have the passion for it. But I thought Dad and Son was a really cool idea and a funny idea, and I think it's not impossible for it to come back. 
as its own thing. Um, I think we just need time to work on our own stuff first and make sure that, like, we actually have time to work on that, like, at a good pace, you know? Because it's better, I'd rather not do it than post once every couple months or years. <laughs> uh, which is what I've been doing with my own YouTube channel and I'm trying to fight that. Back, welcome back. Fights ads and the point zero 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 two cents that you get. Yeah, I, uh, I really, I really wish, listen, if they're going to make me like put that many ads on, maybe give me a higher percentage. I mean, come on. It's crazy how they've lowered percentage for people, right? Like, I think everyone's 50-50 now. I think YouTube even gives more. Isn't YouTube like 70-30 for everything? Very frustrating. I, I don't like... But whatever. It happens. Oh well. Moving on. Don't forget to sub with Twitch Prime if you want to avoid the ads. <laughs> That's, uh, as always, the only, uh, the only fix I got for you. Capitalism? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be like that. I mean, it is an Amazon property, and they're the biggest, uh... Oh, there we go. Didn't even have to finish everything. I think, um... It doesn't help that Amazon probably wants to make some of the money back that they put into Twitch. So they're probably like partially, I, like I wouldn't be surprised if they're partially like, you know, hey, make more money or we have to like completely shut down. Like it's the same thing with Mojang, right? Like they, they have said that they didn't want certain things and they haven't had a choice but to put it. I think they didn't want the chat reporting system, at least not in the way that it was coming out. Um, I think they kind of put that in like as like subtext in one of their YouTube videos and people picked up on it Which don't get me wrong. I think I, I like the I like the fact of there being a Java reporting system I don't play Java much, so I don't know how it came out or like what it exactly is uh, and I don't even think there's any like Warring at over anywhere. I don't think anyone's fighting over it anymore. I think it's just there and we've moved on but um but yeah, I don't know. I think when you get bought out by another company... This is another thing. Dude, Rooster Teeth. Uh, I wish I could sell you. Don't even worry about it. There, No one is obligated to spend any money on me ever for these streams. But yeah, I, Rooster Teeth got bought out by Warner. And people are pretty sure that... So Rooster Teeth, if you guys don't know, they've been around for like 20 years now. I think April 1st will be their 20th anniversary. And um, recently they fired someone who's been around for ages and ages and he's also been making one of like he's the host of one of the most um one of the best series on the achievement hunter channel in a while and like everyone's a huge fan of his series and they they just they let his contract die and then they didn't renew it i think or or they just like dissolved the contract i think is actually what happened and now he's just part-time and he only comes back for like challenge accepted which is that series or certain other things right and everyone's pretty sure that like the reason for it is that they got bought out by warner and then warner told them they need to like make cuts or whatever or told them to cut that guy specifically and that's what happened and it just sucks that like when you have a company that's built on passion because i'm pretty sure twitch is kind of the same way like they're they were built i think with a smaller team in the past i'm, I'm pretty sure and then they got bought out by amazon and now, I'm sure that there's stuff going on behind the scenes that, like, they don't really want to happen. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It sucks. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the way to survive as a small business is getting bought out by a bigger business. You get a budget and you get all this other stuff. And you get, like, resources. You get, like, you can do cameos and you can do, like, you can work within other, like, like, if you're Rooster Teeth, you can put your franchises in other people's franchises and, like, do collabs and all that stuff. It used to be called Justin TV. Justin TV. And then the OG CEO resigned, like, a month or so ago. Oh, damn, really? Like, that recently. Um, 
be with me. My friend is yelling at me over text for not talking to my mom. Go talk to your mom. Subway sandwiches do sound good. I've actually been... I, I've wanted to go and get some. We have one nearby. I might go and get one tomorrow. Or, like, soon. Most of the developers, after they got bought out, they kind of leave the team or play a non-decision power role. Yeah. That's the thing, right? It's, um... With Rooster Teeth, after... I think after Warner got bought... Or, like, after... Sorry, after Warner bought them... I'm pretty sure that's when one of the founders left, Bernie, and he just kind of disappeared off the internet. And I follow him on Instagram, so every once in a while I'll see like a, I'll be scrolling through reels, and one of the reels will say this was liked by Bernie, and I'll be like, oh, he's still like kind of online, but you know, that's just what happens. It sucks. My mom is sleeping. I'm not gonna wake her. Wake her just to talk to her. What time is it? Dang, your mom sleeps early. <laughs> My parents don't sleep until like midnight. They're always watching TV. They got a TV in their room. I wish. I have a TV stand in my room. I don't have a TV though. They don't have a TV stand, but they have a TV. They just hung it up. We're down to the last three, which is still a lot. It's 10% of the game. But, um, a lot of progress. Very poggers. Yeah, I'm honestly, uh, I'm relieved we're getting through this. <laughs> I'm getting tired of looking at this same freaking uh, manner and this level. I can't wait to be done. That's going to be the saddest. That's the most satisfying thing when you're near the end is almost being done. It's definitely not important enough. Not an issue that I've been having for like months. Nope, sarcasm. Randomly destroying the mosque colony in the name of progress. Yeah, man. I mean, listen, they, o I don't know how they overran this manor so bad. Isn't Lara Croft, like, supposed to be rich because she's, like, a bounty or, like, a treasure hunter? I don't know. Again, I don't know this, the, the game. I have no idea, but, um... That's funny. That's funny how much they've let this place go to shit. All right, let's do a little bit of a test. Let's see. Let's do a test because I'm gonna roast her. I'm gonna roast her if this test doesn't work out. Yo, Ashley, you still here? <laughs> I would never do that to anyone, but since I know her and I, I, I just know who she is. I gotta, I gotta, gotta see. I gotta see. I think it's algae, to be fair. And yeah, that thing is disgusting. Oh my god, you're still here. Oh my god, <laughs> I very much expected no response. That's crazy. Damn, thanks for the thanks for the views, Ashley. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Um I can't even roast her. I think it's just poop. Dude, if this is poop, I don't need I I think you gotta get something checked out, man. I think you gotta go to a doctor. <laughs> um I don't know how it would be algae, because um isn't algae Actually, I don't know. Does algae just spawn in the water? Like, I don't know how it works. Or can it just be anywhere? Then again, there was that theory that MatPat made that this is all volcanic uh, dust and stuff. Like, stuff from the volcano that's nearby. <laughs> um, Yo, what's up, Fede? I have a serious question. Are you dead? No, I'm not. Um, wait, your poop is not like this? No, it's not. Algae just spawns in damp rocks and stuff. Yeah, I thought so. You're gonna tell me your poop is some weird color like gray or gray? <laughs> gray or gray or brown? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, yeah, that would be weird if it was brown. No, mine is red. Mine's red. Yeah. That'd be weird. On brand? Yeah, it is on brand. Welcome, Fede. How you doing? Yeah, I'm not dead. Uh, I don't think so. Um, not yet, anyway. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, life's short. But I think for now I'm good. I'm safe. I'm chilling. I'm chilling in space. Slap on your face. Can I do the bigger one? I can. A little bit. I just gotta do it a little more slowly. Also, Ashley, I had nothing to say to you. I just wanted to see if you were here. I was just... I was going to I was going to roast you if you weren't because I, I I generally don't expect people to like stay for the entire stream. I just it's kind of a thing that if you want to hop in or hop out it's up to you. So I was like going to just jokingly roast, but 
apparently she's a better friend than I ever took her to be. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Forcing your friends to stay here? Yeah, man. Give me my views. Give me my clout. Give me my money. Give me my point two 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 or point zero 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 two ad sense. There we go. All right. We're making a lot of good progress. I think, but yeah, I think the theory for this game that Matt Pat made that I'm pretty sure he said it was like, he it was getting confirmed or something. Like a lot of the things that were coming in the future updates seem to confirm it. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I think the theory was that this is all volcanic rust, and the things we are doing as a power washer are actually harmful to the ecosystem because you're supposed to like you're not supposed to get rid of volcanic rust or like dust. Sorry, from um, a power washer, you're supposed to like bag it up. So they have special teams to get rid of all that stuff. And we are just kind of like doing it by hand to get that money. To get that money. And um, yeah, it's uh, apparently bad for our ecosystem. But I'm getting that money so it doesn't matter. This will be very fun IRL. I've done it IRL. It's not as fun because the power washer does not do that much. Hydrate, thank you so much. Zen. All right. Yeah, I've done it IRL. I don't. I didn't have like a bunch of nozzles and stuff, so maybe that's why it wasn't as fun. But um, it was annoying. It was annoying. It pushes you back, so it's fun. It also hurts your arms after a bit. That's true. I'll always be here for you. Hashtag top tier RA. Thank you. Thanks, Ashley. Are you gonna do when you say always? I assume that means even after I leave, after I move out of uh, and you're no longer my RA. I feel like she only puts up with me because she's my RA because I like I bully her so much. Um, you need specific nozzles for specific surfaces, yeah. RA is a res resident uh, advisor. It's um, the people, like, when you move into dorm on campus, they're the people who kind of, like, make sure you don't die and stuff like that. Um, so that's the RA you keep speaking crap about? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So true. So true, bestie. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, normally, they make sure you don't die and, and stuff like that. Some RAs are bad. Some I think Ashley's a pretty good RA. She, like... Keeps food for us around if we want to eat and stuff. Not for me, though. Day, Ashley. Dang. Ashley still can't get my pronouns right. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> I, but yeah. Ashley never keeps any vegetarian food around, though. So that's kind of, like, messed up. Like, that's, like, that's messed up. Um, in my opinion. But otherwise, pretty good, alright, I'd say. Um, damn, you make my job description sound crazy. Like a parent, but not related. Yeah, true. Kind of. But some of them don't care. I give you mac and cheese, a good one. Also dumplings and blueberries. That's fair. That's fair. That's all fair. It was good. Yeah. That's the only reason I was on campus for as long as I was. Because I am so bad at, like, going... Like, now that I'm home alone, so bad at cooking and making myself eat. But on campus, so bad at walking to get food. So I would just not eat. So then, um... Because I always just have other stuff to do. And I never put food as a thing that I need to do on my itinerary for the day. Um, so then I just get, like, I just suddenly realize, oh my god, I'm hungry, I have to go eat, and then I have to rush and make something or find some food. So it was nice that, like, I had someone who was just bring me, like, give me food. Um, but yeah. But yeah, that is, in fact, the RA I keep speaking crap about constantly. Worst person in this entire world, for real. Alright, so this is all stone. Let's see if we just, honestly, I say we just use the stone cleaner. And uh, switch to the soap gun. I don't own stone cleaner. I should. And I could. I have a lot of money. Um, I'll move and bring food for you. I got the cookies and the mac and cheese. And ramen and Mexican rice. Oh yeah, Ashley. I always have rag snacks like... Oh yeah, fruit roll-ups and chips and stuff. Yeah, that's true. 
Dude, I wish I I keep telling Scrub that I'm gonna move in with him, and it's just gonna make everything so much easier because I won't have to try to like oh I can't use any soap dang because I won't have to try to remember to eat. I can just force him to give me food. Oh, multi purpose cleaner. That's nice. I was sick. It's useless. That's awesome. All right, let's just use all of it on this fish. It's literally useless. It's doing nothing for me. I'm trying to see if it just makes things easier to, like, clean. Like, maybe it just makes everything a little bit easier. I don't know. It doesn't seem that useful, to be honest, this soap. That one. Yeah, honestly, this seems like the play. I don't think that soap's going to do anything for me. Um, Ari, you got no survival skills. You got to eat regularly. Listen, I try, and sometimes I remember, and I actually, like, make food and stuff. But, like, so often I just forget because I'm working because I have so much work to do, and I just get, like, super distracted by that. It's not even that I choose not to eat. I just get distracted, and I forget. And then I come back, and I'm like, oh, my God, I have not eaten yet today. Um, I'm, do I'm trying to do better about it. I think... Uh, today I made that mistake, but other days I have been cooking a little bit and stuff, and I think maybe I'll try to make mac and cheese tomorrow or something before stream. Thing is, tomorrow stream is also earlier, so I gotta plan ahead. I gotta remember that it's not 9 o'clock, because that's my norm. But yeah, that's why I was, like, so tired yesterday, if you guys didn't notice. I was, like, pretty tired because I, I didn't eat, I forgot to eat, like, anything heavy. Is Ari like a volunteer thing or is it someone who's hired? Um, it's another student and then they get free housing. It's an older student though. Like she's a junior. I'm a freshman. And it's a whole, it's like a freshman housing. Generally, I think you have to be like either a sophomore or a junior to start. Um, but yeah, then you can get free housing and stuff. It's pretty cool. But it's also like work I would not want to do. If RA is your RA move, why would you why would you do that? Freshman's the first year, junior's the third year. So let's just say I'm a first year, she's a third year. <laughs> Does that make sense to you, Ellie? <laughs> idiot. Freaking freaking stupid idiot. Dumb little dumb little guy. R E the ace. R E the R, -R rat. <laughs> I'm not the rat. We had this conversation earlier. Technically, I'm not the rat. You guys are the rats. I'm just the rat king. Doesn't mean I'm a rat. Never implied that I was a rat. I'm just the king of the rats. Technically. That's all I'm saying. Three more percent. Here we go. So close. It's going to take a solid minute to get all this, though, because this, this uh, statue is going to be a little bit annoying to clean. There we go. Okay. Let's get all of the gross, nasty stuff that's in there. There we go. What is this fish eating, man? It's eating all this algae. <laughs> um, Shouldn't Junior be the first year? No. It's not. It's the third year. Do I know why? No. But, um... I don't know if Junior would ever be a... Because, like, if you want senior to be the last year, then junior ch generally comes before that. But I don't know where freshman comes from or sophomore, so... I don't know. A lot of stupid words. I think Ari has no rat qualities because they don't eat. I eat. I actually, like, after stream, I eat, like, a crazy amount. Like, I think, um... I think a couple nights ago, I was in... I was sitting in clicks chat, and, um... I mentioned like, oh, my aunt brought me food. When I say my aunt brought me food, bro, she brought me like a buffet. Like she brought me like two like chocolate like cakes, the little little cake thingies, like crunchy little, I don't know what to call them, but little chocolate things. I guess we call them like a croissant. They're not like, they're not really a croissant, but they could be like a croissant. So we're going to say they're a croissant. So um, yeah, it was a chocolate croissant. Two of them, two, two chocolate croissants. And um... <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, then uh, she brought two empanadas and an egg, a giant like stuffed egg sandwich. And I finished all of it in like one in that one sitting, just watching the stream. Because nights, for some reason, I just eat like crazy. I I essentially just like I'm I feel like I'm essentially just in essence doing like Ramadan, but very like very close to it, which I think. Uh, you you can you can't eat until unless like we can't eat while the sun's out I guess, so like. But like because I wake up late, I essentially do that where I just I wake up, I eat, then I don't eat for like most of the day, and then I just eat like crazy at night. Also, I don't celebrate Ramadan, so I don't know all of the stuff. There's a lot more to it than eating, but um, I'm also not like religious, so <laughs> either way, I wouldn't be following. It, I don't think, but um. Yeah. Indian especially, yeah. On some grandmas. What did you say, Sanwal? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Ca caso? I thought you were saying queso, but that's different. <laughs> that's not That's not that. They try to feed you every minute or so. Yeah. I uh, Every time I say no to food... Like, at this point, whenever my aunt comes over, like, she brought me some food today, and she was like, do you want me, do you want anything tomorrow? And I was like, oh, I'm probably okay. And she's like, okay, I'll bring you something tomorrow. And, like, there's nothing else I can say. At that point, it's like, you are getting food tomorrow. There's nothing you can do about it. It's yours. Which, obviously, I appreciate, like, crazy. But, um, yeah. There's no, there's no fighting it. You are gonna have food. Which is good, because I'm very bad about, like, making sure I eat. I mean, I would say I've been taking care of myself pretty well. It's just that also I had a lot of dishes I needed to do. So I today I didn't have... I couldn't make like instant noodles or anything because my pots were just in need of wash. So I, I set them to wash earlier today. Croissant. Oh, croissant. That's what you're saying. You said it in a way of casso, which is different. Sandwall. Croissant. Um... I was actually thinking of this earlier. Your freshman is your fresh meat to school. Sophomore kind of sounds like soft and more, so it's your second year because you're still pretty new. So you're still a little soft fresh meat, but you're more adapted. That makes sense. And then junior se senior makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's possible that they just started as like, um, as slang terms and then became the norm. This one teacher once told me like, oh, slang terms never survive. Like they, they always like, at some point, they always die, and I, I was pretty sure that there was no way that was true. Like there must be so much slang that's just become part of our normal lives, and yeah, like now it's not slang, but it's not dead either. So you can't say that the slang died. This is the worst. I hate cleaning this part. This is so annoying. What if I quit right now? What if I just say we did it? <laughs> oh my gosh. This one statue is pissing me off. I'm glad I left it for last. I got to enjoy the rest of the stream at least. I and mean, we still have more to do. We're not done just yet. I'm going to take a little break real quick. And then we are going to do a little more. Um, I don't take care of myself. My bad. No, for real. I, I, I also, I just... um. I'd say I do to some extent. I'd say, like, I think there's some people who literally cannot live alone at all. I'm pretty good about, like, I keep the house clean, you know? I, I try to do everything I gotta do every day. I just, every time, forget to eat. I just forget I gotta make food. But, like, all that means is I just go out to get food instead. Like, I still eat. I'll either order, like, Burger King or something, or I'll go out and get, like, Wawa or Taco Bell or, like, something. And I have Subway, which I can probably go to soon. And then... The uh, my favorite Indo Chinese place also has a really good lunch food that's kind of cheap compared to like their other foods, so I could also get that. So like, it's not impossible. It's not terrible. I take care of myself pretty well, I'd say. We might have to summon that scaffolding over here to get on top. I think. Get over here. All right, thank you, dude. I'm a magician. Yo, can you place? Why can't you place? Why can you not place? What is... There's literally nothing above you, man. My man. 
Oh, I can't place you on the fountain itself? That's crazy. Okay, well, I guess you go here. The game does not believe in magic. My mom is mad that I haven't been eating or drinking as much. I mean, if you have parents who are there, you should listen to them. I just don't have parents here, so I just eat when I can and what I can. But you should listen to them. Listen to the people who are telling you to eat properly. This is crazy that I have to do this. What a, what an interesting decision. Okay. Let's take this. And put it... I think we can put it on the other side, maybe? I, it's so cool how I can't run with it. There we go. Yeah, if I put it here. Because for some reason, it just doesn't want to go on the fountain itself, which sucks. I think we'll be done very soon. Maybe. There it is. Look at us go, boys. GG. We've done it. There's us doing the entire lower half, upper half, and then the fountain. There we go. Winston's been gushing about what a tremendous job you've done finishing his cleaning on the exterior, and I'm excited to see it for myself. You have my deepest gratitude. In fact, based on this solid intel, I think I have something else for you. There's more? Oh my gosh, I thought there was only one. Oh, each DLC. I have so much more to do. Let's go. I thought that I was like, I thought I would just do one here and do one on, um, on Midgar. And then I thought I'd be done. But I have so much more to do. Oh my gosh, guys, we have so much more stream to do. Okay, I mean, not today specifically, but um, I say let's do one bonus job and we head out. And then, um, which one's the cheapest? Let's do the cheapest one because I don't want to go for way too long. I don't think it tells you, does it? Which one looks small? Oh, this one feels like it's going to take a while. Gnome Fountain, I think, will be small. Okay. So, we are going to take a quick break. YouTube, I will see you in just a second. Oh, wow. Of course, Scrub comes right now. YouTube, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Oh, there it is. Welcome back, YouTube. I said welcome back, and then and then I don't think it actually welcomed them back. But we're going to finish this and pause the music because we're done with that. All right. Let's finish this. It will reset any progress on other special jobs. I think we don't have any going. Uh, unless that resets the project on Lara Croft, because uh, then I'll lose my mind, because I'm not playing all that again. But, they have a massive bladder for later's crazy stuff. Hey YouTube, Ari just peed. <laughs> Guys, please! Um, yeah, I did. I had to. And then, um, and then I, and then I came back. And you know what? Stream's better for it, alright? Would you rather I just sit here needing to pee for the rest of- for this giant gnome fountain that- I, Dude, I'm realizing this is gonna be the most annoying thing to clean. Cause look at it, it's got so many like- <laughs> Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? It's okay. I think we can get through it. What time is it? Alright, we have an hour. I say we play for an hour. Write bladder in the comments if you see this, <laughs> and leave your prettiest to like. Yeah, do that. Whatever he's- you do that thing that he said. Alright, how about this? If we play for an hour, and we are at... 70%, then we'll finish it. Otherwise, I'll finish it next stream. I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause, um... I, I kind of want to be done by midnight so I can go and actually have, like, food. All I got was, like, some quick chocolates, which I'm going to snack on while we while we keep playing. Look at these little guys. Look at them. Little, little, little chocolate guys. It's a, it's a pomegranate in, in dark chocolate. You guys get to hear me eat. <laughs> Congratulations. I know since the start of my channel, all you guys have asked for is food ASMR. And I haven't been providing, and I'm sorry. 
Whittle itty bitty chocolate. Are those the dark chocolate covered pomegranates? Yeah, they're amazing. I also have blueberries. But I picked the pomegranates this time. I'm also, oh, okay. Do I also have this? Oh, okay, that's, uh, eh. None of that stuff is really that good. I gotta get this decoration cleaned. There we go. Let's get this decoration cleaned. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the worst. This is gonna take so long. Um, I've been looking everywhere for those. I'm gonna raid your house for the next time I'm over. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hide them. <laughs> I'm gonna find a fun little place to hide them, which will probably just be in my room somewhere. So you have no shot of stealing my food. Oh, this game, this this level has so many nooks and crannies. I don't even know how I'm gonna beat it today. Because I'm still trying. I'm still trying to beat it today if possible. I think there's more here, right? Oh, it might be around the back. Or is it this thing? Is that part of the pillar? Like, right here? Is that a little nook part of the... Might be part of the pillar. I think it is. So I think the back I need to clean? No, this is a lower pool floor. Oh, okay, here. Alright, we just got clean around the edge. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever! Uh, the real question is, are you mooching, <laughs> mooching peniles? That's a reference to a call last night. If you guys join my Discord, I swim point Discord, you'll, uh... You'll understand those bits, I guess. I don't think anyone here wants to, though. Is this water coming from your massive bladder? Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah the real lore of this game that MatPat missed is that it's our giant bladders that fill up these power washers. That's my cleaning song. Um, <laughs> apparently, free bite no scope to you. No, I don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't me. That was another Ari the Ace. Yeah, I'm so popular that there's people like making copy accounts now. And, uh, you know, I mean, on Steam, you can just name yourself anything. So, you know, it's just, I don't know, it was weird. It was, it was a lot of work from Freebyte to try to, I was there at Happiness, are they in CSGO because they suck at CSGO and Freebyte is awesome at CSGO. Okay, well, that's, um, that's just a lie. I think you got paid to say that, honestly. Yeah, I, th I think, uh, I don't think Scrub is the most, um, reliable narrator, actually. So, um, so yeah, I, I, th I think he's lying. Witness testimony. Oh, what's up, Kermel? We were just down about CSGO. Welcome. I also heard you downloaded Fortnite, so, um, looks like we'll be playing Fortnite soon. Kermel Space Program? Yeah, honestly. Is that, well, what is that? Is that the actual name of that? I forget. Isn't it Kerbal Space Program or something? I don't remember. Um, Pater not scrub is spitting. No, no, you're lying. Why are you lying to all of chat? I would never get no scoped in CSGO by Freebyte. That's just a thing that wouldn't happen. I don't even know why you would say that. Join, join the Discord to play Fortnite with Ari. They're desperate to find people to play with. I'm not desperate. I can play with Ellie anytime. We play way too much anyway. I was trying to be friendly. Are you just tired of playing with me? Because we get- We do get really hard lobbies, though. Listen, I love playing with you, Ellie, but man. We got destroyed, like, two days ago when we played. Or yesterday, if it was. I don't remember. I took a nap, so it probably was yesterday, and I just thought it was two days ago because I took a nap. But, um... Yeah, no, we get really hard lobbies. But that's just because we're good, alright? Like, would I want to play against a bunch of people who suck so that I feel better about myself and win all the time? Maybe. But, you know, I have nothing else to say. 
<laughs> God, I love spraying down all this moss. Okay, I'm noticing that some of this... I'm noticing this is red. And there's a story here. Someone died here. Someone died in this fountain. Oh my god, is this the fountain from, like, West Side Story or whatever? Or what was that one? What was that one, um... Oh god, it was a gangster movie. It was kind of like West Side Story. Um... Uh... And it's about, like, the, the, the two the two boys and one... And they have, like, a bunch of really weird names, like Soda Pop and stuff. And then one of the boys, like kills a member of the other gang in um in the fountain and then they have to make a run for it and they like live in an abandoned church for a while and stuff it sounds racist what do you mean sounds racist i don't remember i don't remember the name of it um hmm i i knew scrub might get it i i think i think he knows what i'm talking about is it the outsiders yeah, Pony Boy. Yeah, is it like what is it called? Yeah, it's church. Yeah, it's Pony Boy and church and and other stuff. I think it's the Outsiders. Yeah, yeah. I got it, boys. I got it. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. I I thought it'd be funny if this was like the fountain from <laughs> the Outsiders. I don't actually know what it looked like, but I just heard blood or I saw blood and fountain and immediately thought of that. That was a really bad movie. I don't remember the book. I think the book was okay. The movie sucked. We watched it in film class last year, and it was... God, it awful. The book was good. The movie was ass. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dry. It wasn't Terminated 2. Uh, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for uh, making it so difficult. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. I thought we were, like, close to the end, but we still have so much... Ah, doing a full loop-de-loop, -loop. even then it takes so long, it's gonna take forever. I can bitch and whine if I want to my stream, shut up. <laughs> I can complain about the game that I chose to play on this day. On the stream that I can cancel at any time. Nah, but I, I still do really enjoy this game. This is such a good game to play when you're bored. Or just like, want to relax. Not do like anything crazy. And when I was playing for achievements, that was even more fun. Because I was getting achievements while also just like, relaxing. Because most of the time achievements are difficult. I have to like, put in a bunch of work and like, do all these secrets and like, you know, all that extra stuff. But nah, I was just relaxing for this one. I was having fun. I mean, I was having fun regardless, but you know. You know what I mean. You get it. Chillaxin' for real, bro. Alright. This cap needs doing. There we go. This cap needs doing. Look at all those dings. Love it. We're gonna get a bunch of dings because I think we're about to... We're about to hopefully clean out the entire outer edge other than these pillars, which I'll come back for. There we go. Why did I think you were going to say we're about to get a bunch of dinguses? <laughs> what are you talking about? Bro, Scrub, I think, is actually going crazy. He just says weird stuff now. He says bingus a lot, apparently. Which is, like, something I didn't know was a thing. If I knew that, I probably wouldn't be as friends with him. Um, <laughs> if I knew that he said bingus all the time. Bro's getting real weird with it. There we go. Alright. 
we're finally making some moves with this game. We're finally or with this map. It's much easier when I just find like a good rhythm and pattern. Cause th that's the problem with like these giant maps that have like these weird guys. It just takes so long to like to like get around. Like even the statue in the last one that pissed Jesus, please. Uh, that that pissed me off because it's just so difficult to figure out like what you know where where to shoot how to like get in a good position to get it like there's no easy pattern for it but now that i found a pattern to get around the edge now that's sandwall no but you now you say because of sandwall you say bingus a lot according to you that's something you told us in vc yesterday maybe his fault but you still do it That'd be like if I like beat the crap out of children and I was like, it's cause of Ellie. Like I still did it. I'm still like killing kids, you know? Yo, Rod, thank you for the raid. God damn, bro, you've been streaming this whole time? I uh I I I um I saw you go live at like five, I thought. Thank you so much, bro. Welcome, Raiders. Go uh go give Rot a, a follow if you guys want. He's a friend. We're playing with him tomorrow, actually. Some um, duck game. Fighting game. It's gonna be fun. Almost five hour stream. Oops, yeah, dude. I um, I remember, I think I took a nap, and when I woke up, I saw you were, you were streaming. And I just assumed you'd be done by the time I started. Um, but welcome. D duck life speedrun? Not that game. Duck game. Different game. I should do a Duck Life speedrun. That would be fun. But yeah, welcome. Uh, Raiders, If I don't know if any of you uh, don't know me, but if you don't, I'm Ari. I, uh, I'm a variety streamer. Uh, normally, I play for achievements and stuff, but today we're just taking it chill. We're playing some Power Wash Sim, which I've already beat, and we're just doing some DLC and stuff that I've not done before. Um, yeah. Sorry, a new save file for 7 Days to Die with some friends, and yeah, I got sucked into it. Dude, I... um. Yeah, I, I saw you playing uh, Jedi yesterday. I watched a little bit. Um, Seven Days to Die, I've tried to get into. I don't know why. I just can't. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think I've just played too many survival games. Like, now we're learning Stranded Deep, which I gotta go back and watch the... Uh, or play the tutorial for and stuff like that. Like, I think it's just... I'm, I've been doing it too much, I think. One of these days, maybe I'll get into 7 Days to Die. Because it's on Game Pass, and I also own it on Steam. So, like, I gotta play it at some point. If I want to make my money worth it that I paid. But. That's the biggest conversation again. Alright, let's get this. I think we're almost done with the outer edge, I think. Or maybe halfway done. Oh, yeah. We're, like, almost done. Are we? Oh, I'm a liar. I'm just a total liar. Whoops. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jedi has been a huge learning curve for me. Story based game with the comments like that, I've never really done, but it's been fun. Um. Um. I just noticed the streams replaced gaming. What do you mean the streams replaced gaming? But yeah, Roth. Uh, story based game are kind of my vibe, so I'm used to that for a stream. But I get it if you're not like used to it, it can be a Oh yeah, his name. It's now some scrub streams. Yeah, no, it sucks. I love Sc some scrub gamer. Why would you change it? I'm pretty sure I told him to change it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when he was like changing it, I I was there for that conversation. No, but some scrub gaming was. I mean, cause yesterday I helped Om with like a small quick thing for his stream, and I I typed some scrub gamer, and he he told me to f fix it <laughs> and make it the one that he wants. Smug Brub Treams. Yeah, that's yeah, that's his name. Yo, Arv Arv's weird today. <laughs> bro's bro's real weird today. He's saying like brub and scub. Alright, thank you for the lurk, Roth. Have a good one, bro. Smug Brub is just what I have him as Oh, I forgot that, yeah. On on Discord you just named him Smug Brub. He is smug. What a smug little guy. Can I get a 
one in chat if you agree. <laughs> and uh, one in chat if you disagree. But like you have to type one out and then you have to just put the letter one for the other one. Have a good rest of your stream if I'm not back before you end. Thank you, Roth. I um I don't know how long I'm gonna go. I I'm planning to go till midnight, but I'm actually like starting to enjoy this fountain now, so maybe I'll just go until I finish it. At first I was just like, eh, I don't wanna finish it. Let's just take a break. But like now I have my chocolates and I'm rejuvenated and this is a lot of fun, so maybe I'll keep going. We'll see. Let's get these outers done real quick. So I don't have to keep crouching back and forth. I think if I get these done. There we go. And there we go. And if I just get this done. That section. It'll also make me not have to keep crouching back and forth. There we go. Um, but yeah. This is this is uh this has gotten a lot more enjoyable because um again I found a pattern and now I just know what to do. Highly recommend this game if you still somehow haven't played it. Um it was a big thing for a long while. Honestly, games like, I love when games like this pop off. Like, you know, you got Fall Guys, you got Animal Crossing, like all these more chill games that are just like um cute. You know, we don't need all the gritty stuff all the time. They're so like obsessed with giving us like gritty movies and gritty shows. Like obviously Last of Us, very gritty for a reason. I mean, it's a decade old game. Like they're not going to change it. it. I think they'd get a lot of shit if they tried to change the genre. But, um, and it just wouldn't be worth it. Like what's the point of making it if you're going to completely change up all the core concept? But, um, yeah, I just, I love, I love, uh, Playing games like this that are just like super chill. Nothing better to do. There we go. And now we get this. Oh, love all the dings. Perfect. Exactly what you want to hear. All the money doesn't even matter because I've already bought everything I need to buy. So it literally does not matter. But I'm glad I left this for as long as I did. Like these bonus jobs have been around for a while. The DLC is new. But these bonus jobs I've had around for like a really long time. And I just never played them because I was just going for achievements. I'm glad I left them because now I have something to come back to and enjoy um, after a nice little break from the game. And maybe I'll even leave the Midgar update for a while. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But if I don't feel like playing for too long, I could just get the bonus jobs and Lara Croft update done and then come back for Midgar another time. Like, leaving that DLC is kind of nice. Power Sim is honestly one of the best games to stream because you can talk to chat basically all the time. I agree. We were actually talking about this earlier. Fun fact, I used to be obsessed with Kingdom Hearts. We talked about... <laughs> Obsessed with Kingdom Hearts. We've talked about this before, and um, I got to play 3. I played it. I tried it on stream. I didn't like it for stream, but I might play it on my own. And Scrub, what we were talking about earlier was about how... So some people struggle a bit with talking. Like, if you don't have a Twitch chat, right? Like, if you don't have people who are active... Like, I'm, I'm fortunate enough that I've grown, and now, like, I've had a very good, like, viewer count throughout the stream, like... I've got people active throughout the stream. So I'm lucky like that, right? But not everyone is. So I was actually talking about how this game isn't a really good stream. Or it is a good stream game, but it isn't like a really good like YouTube video game. And it's not always the best stream game if you don't have like a good audience. And we were just kind of, I was like kind of surprised how much it blew up considering it's not the best game for like content creation all the time. Because it can get boring to watch and it can like, if you don't know how to keep your audience engaged it can get boring to like just watch people playing it um but yeah i think part of it is like something we were talking about earlier is that like part of it is just like learning how to talk to yourself essentially because when no one was here at the beginning of the stream i i knew that i would just have to talk to myself for a while 
And that's what I did. And then people showed up and they enjoyed it. So they stuck around. And that's like the, I mean, that is just the Twitch game, isn't it? It's just talking to yourself until people f feel like listening. Gimme, gimme. There we go. There's a lesson, kids. To be a pro streamer, you gotta be clinically insane. Oh my gosh. To be a pro streamer, you gotta know how to perform. That's all it is. There we go. We will have to do these middle things at some point, so I guess I should get started on them a little bit. And get a feel for how much cleaning they need, which it looks like a lot. Like, it's gonna need some kind of exact places, I think. Also, this inner pool is gonna be annoying. I can already tell. I can already feel it in my bones. There we go. Okay, that pillar is going to be annoying to clean every time. I think all a lot of this very much is going to get frustrating. That's why I'm pretty sure I won't finish this tonight. Because I think I'm going to like try, but then I'm going to get annoyed. What time we at? Okay, we got some time. We still got time to hit 70%. Uh, 70%. I don't think we will necessarily at the pace we're going right now. But uh, I'm going to keep trying. But yeah, like, that's, like, the big thing with streaming is, like, if, like, right now, like, if, if no one talks, you can't have, like, a silent patch. That's, that's why it's, like, so tiring as well. I'm, I'm glad I went and got chocolates because, like, I needed some energy to, like, get myself through the rest of the stream. If I do longer streams, I try to take breaks in the middle so that I can, um, get, like, a little actual snack. But I didn't plan on streaming for much longer today, so I didn't want to leave you guys waiting for like 20 minutes for me to eat like essentially dinner and then <laughs> only stream for another hour. I really hope I don't forget any like little pieces. Because I did that in the last one where I left like 99... Wait, are these other walls that I have to clean? In the middle here? I got a text. Anything important? Dang, Ashley gave me a shout out. That's crazy. And Ohm sent me a clip. I guess we'll see that in a bit. The thing is, now I've realized that... um. That, um, freaking uh, Click has a bunch of, like, what do you call it? Oh, I never, I never did these outer wall caps. I just realized. Uh, oh, these ones are done. Click has, like, a thing that, like, will just play a clip from people's channels. And I never go through my clips. So I really gotta delete my bad clips. I should really, like, I think at some point I'm gonna just delete some of the ones that are unfunny. So that, like... Or like the ones that were accidentally done. So that it doesn't just play some random clip in the middle of like. Because I assume Click's not the only one who does that right? Like. I mean I think maybe he plays the most viewed ones or something. I'm not sure. But I assume he's not like the only streamer to ever do that. I'm sure other people do. So I think I gotta go through these clips and make sure there's like actually good things in there that like show who I am as a streamer. Alright we got the full loop around. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, where do we want to go now? Are these different floor sections? They are. Okay. I say we get the floor done. It seems pretty easy. Can we go a little bigger? I think we can. Yeah, this is straight up blood. Um... <laughs> Alright, mister, I'm clinically insane, but I'm also never going to use my goaded stream setup. Yeah, o o Ohm has been setting up a, a stream thing for like... Uh, two days, I think? Two straight days that I've just seen him like working on it. And then... <laughs> I 
And uh, we all know he's never going to use it. He always sets up all these things and then just forgets. God, there's no good... Hang on, can I... Maybe, maybe this will help. Maybe even this? Oh yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Green doesn't clear up all the dirt though, that's the only issue. Doesn't get all the grime. <sighs> that's the thing, bro. This is gonna take forever because of that. Because there's so much dirt here that just stays. It's kind of funny how this game is literally just like cleaning simulator. Like it is literally just like there's nothing else. There's even the lore is like so like I, I don't get how these games blow up sometimes. But yet they're so fun. And the fact is it's not even a niche thing. Like so many people enjoy this game. We're all at the end of the day just weird man. And we like weird shit. Gotta get all these little bits and bobs and then we'll be set, I think. Soap's gotta work on blood, right? Um, okay, so the thing is we don't have a ton of soap. I could try. And I'm willing to try. Just want to get this little bits out of the way. Come on, surely there must be like one big patch I'm missing, right? Oh, is it under this? Under this? Or is it? Where is it? There must be like a bigger patch I'm missing. Is it this thing? It's on this side, maybe? It is nowhere that I can see. So we're just going to keep cleaning like this and hope. But it's literally not lowering at all in the top left. So I don't know what it's supposed to be. Generally, if you clean along edges, that's how you get rid of this. But like, look, there must be like a huge patch of dirt that I'm just not cleaning up. Is it this thing maybe along this edge? There we go, finally. Uh, let's try soap. Soap and... The only things we have are stone and metal cleaner. So this is stone. It doesn't work terribly. Like, it's not that bad. The problem is we can't buy any more, which sucks. Like, we only have so much to get us through the, the day. I guess we can use all this up and then just get rid of uh, get rid of as much as we can with the soap, and then just go back and get the leftovers later. Do 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 do. Okay, you know, you guys want to know a funny story? I just thought of something. Dating app. Did I talk about this? I might have talked about this. Freaking, I did a, I did a, there was a voice prompt on Hinge that you can do, that you can use. So I went, I just, I picked a random prompt and just put, wah, 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 wah. Or something like that. It might have been like the Yoshi impression. I was like, wah, 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 And then I just made a bunch of weird noises into the mic. And Ohm and our other friend sees, <laughs> watches, like, looks at my dating profile. Like, they were judging it, right? And they go, what the hell is this? Why would you do this? How do you expect to get anyone with this? And I was like, it's funny, right? Like, it's pretty funny. And they were like, no, this sucks. You're, how, what, what is wrong with you? Okay, I'm getting zero bitches regardless, by the way. Your help has done nothing. But also, I was just like, it's funny, right? And they 
refuse to acknowledge that it is f- it is in fact funny and but the thing is like a bunch of girls on those dating profiles do the same thing they do like a silly little noise or whatever for the for for their voice prompt and i think it's funny has it worked i mean nothing has worked i'm not getting people it's funny but on a dating app it's not happening yeah but i wasn't taking it that seriously i thought it was funny and if someone can't like enjoy the haha funny then what's the point you know i literally got like four likes on the first day and then i didn't get any likes i haven't had any likes since since i've had people match me which is different because they go through their likes which means like i liked them and then they saw that and accepted it so two different things um haven't had many people match me either to be fair I also have not been swiping like crazy lately. I put a timer on it and then I just kind of stopped using it. It's like at the back of my phone. Like I have to swipe to to, to different page to use it. Um, yeah, not funny. Thanks. Thanks, dog. It's only because it hasn't worked, I assume. I assume that if it worked, it would be funny. Which is very circular thinking. I thought it was very funny. But you know what? It's fine. I'm gonna assume I didn't tell this story because I think Ellie would have roasted me earlier if I did. Alright, come on. Come on, let's get the last of this. The last, the last of us. There we go. Another one down. Uh, we got 20 minutes. I think we could at least get the lower floor portions done. Um, and then we see. Wah, 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 wah. See, it's funny. See? 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 Don't you see? I'm having the last of these chocolates. I got two chocolates in my mouth. Two chocolate balls in my mouth. I got two balls. Nope, I'm not finishing it. I'm not finishing that sentence. I refuse. Dude, I, um, in my left tooth when i bite it it's it started hurting right now and i immediately was like oh my god i have a i have a cavity it's all gonna fall it's gonna fall out i'm gonna lose my teeth and then i was just like bro calm down people have tooth pain all the time i've never had a cavity in my life and my parents didn't take me to the dentist until i was like 15 my teeth were like all like curved like they they weren't straight teeth but they were never like unhealthy they just didn't grow correctly so i needed retain um braces for a while your teeth were curved like they were like they were bent like they were diagonal you know how like horses are diagonal yeah they were like diagonal (laughs) that's a bit that you won't get if you don't watch ellie's streams (laughs) I might have been there. I don't remember. I don't know if I streamed that one. Ari braces era, dude. I I hated braces. Those ugh, they're the worst. They're so painful. If you hate your kid, you'll give them braces. <laughs> That's untrue. They're good for you, but God, they suck. They hurt so much. My the inside of my gums were always like raw because. Oh, is it this part that might be? No, that's not the lower pool era area. All right, well, I think I'm just getting unlucky. See, this is another situation where like there's no actual dirt on the ground here. There we go. Just gotta find all the little specks and things. You know what I've realized is that conversation with Ellie is like, it's like, make a joke as fast as you can. 
<laughs> you will get bullied unless you're able to come up with a joke in time. It's literally, it is like the most um, aggressive game of like performing ever. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain it, but if, if you don't come up with a joke in time, he'll just, he'll come at you. But if you come up with a joke and make him laugh, it buys you some time. And you just keep doing that. You just keep doing that until you get tired out and you leave or whatever. Or one of you and stream ends or whatever. And then if we're both in call and there's someone else in call that we feel like bullying, then it's then it's their game. Then they have to make one of us laugh. And if neither of us laughs, then uh, then you've been judged <laughs> and you get bullied for it. Like with the teeth curved thing i was like he's gonna make a joke of this if i don't come up with something and then i said the diagonal horses thing and he immediately stopped talking <laughs> otherwise he would have found some way to make fun of me i know it oh, i know it it's going game over for them it really is but it only happens when you're in chat for me i feel like when we're in call generally i'm good i'm safe especially on stream I'm psyched for, um, for, uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. You were, ah, uh, oh man. Uh, guys, I found out after Ultimate Chicken Horse that he actually loved the game. He just was saying he didn't like it so, so that we wouldn't play it again because he didn't want me to get good at it. He was like, I don't want Ari to be better than me at a video game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because it's platforming, I guess. Oh, I'm just busy. Don't worry. I wasn't going to bully you. Yeah, well, <laughs> you bullied me for Ultimate Chicken Wars. Dude, I went through that entire stream feeling so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, Ellie's not having fun. Like, uh, I guess we won't be doing this again. And then after stream, I leave. Like, we were all in call. So I assumed we were going to leave to, like, eat and stuff. So I leave. And then I see that they're still in there. And I'm like, oh, I, I guess I'll see what they're up to. Uh, I rejoin and Daisy's cracking up, right? And I'm like, wow, I was gone for literally two seconds. What did I miss? And Ellie was like, I don't think I can tell you. And I'm like, excuse me? You're keeping secrets from me? So then he tells me and he's just like, yeah, I told Daisy that I actually loved the game. I just didn't want to tell you <laughs> because I didn't want to play it with you anymore. Because he keeps thinking about stick fight when I was like younger, first of all, and second of all, good at the game and he sucked. So he was like, oh, Ari would always, like, be such a bully and, like, brag all the time when they were good at at, at stick fight. Which is also, like, a 2D platformer. <laughs> so I guess he would just, he put the two together and he's like, yeah, we're, uh, I can't let Ari think we're playing Ultimate Chicken Wars ever again. But maybe next week, maybe next week we play again because he's fully okay with it and loves it and it's his favorite game in the world. I mean, it's a good game. It's a good game. He's just a loser. <laughs> I felt so bad all stream. The entire stream, I was like, oh, poor Ellie, man. Not enjoying it, even though he's winning. He won more than me. I think I only won the first and last games. He won way more than me. And, but I felt so bad. I was just trying to make it fun for him. And then, <laughs> and then he just, <laughs> at the end, hits me with the, yeah, I loved it. I was having so much fun. Oh my gosh. You know what this game reminds me of? Viscera Cleanup or whatever. That one game that you gotta clean up like all the blood and guts and stuff from... It's like more... Uh, it's like like this but with more stuff in it. Maybe we should play that one day. That could be fun. Try to clean up a couple of areas. I think it's like essentially the same vibe, right? I wouldn't be surprised if it's made by the same company, honestly. Uh, we still gotta try golf with your friends. Oh, true. We gotta do that. We also got to do stick fight. We gotta do stick fight. You promised. You promised. We could honestly do stick fight tomorrow if we really want to, because we have four people. And we can save duck hunt for when we have, um, more people. <laughs> stick fight is just us IRL. Yeah. Always on full blast. Bond got the game for this. Yeah, but does he have stick fight? 
Like we can just delay Duck Hunt one one week if Daisy will be free next week. Cause otherwise we're we're gonna need to play um like this is the first time we're gonna have four people, I think, in a while. Actually no, we had four people last week. I don't mind either way, honestly. Like genuinely I, I, I just want I just want game. So I'll play whatever. But if we think we're gonna have more people next week, we can try to just we can leave duck game for then. Crazy next week I'm sick. Shut up. No. You are you I'm not playing stick fight unless you play stick fight. And we're and I am playing stick fight, so you are playing stick fight. Bro bro hates it because like a couple years ago I would always brag about it because I was so good. But it's literally his L, bro. Like, if he's going to be a decade older than me, maybe have, like, actually good hands that work and can beat me, right? Like, am I wrong, guys? Like, at that point, like, like you've had more time on this earth to get good at stick fight, you know? I haven't. I I'm younger. Hear me out. April 25th, I'm turning into a Fall Guys channel. And then I'm in May, I'm turning into a Zelda channel. And then, yeah, yeah. And we got ISMP up one day after that. Bro, go easy. <laughs> His joints might have started creaking. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. Fall, um, April 25th, I'm also turning into a Fall Guys streamer. Um, Zelda, I'm not that pressed about. I um I still haven't even finished Breath of the Wild. Maybe I'll go back and finish that. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just haven't really cared that much. I don't care about Switch games. You can roll my joints, scrub. <laughs> Says the guy who doesn't smoke or do anything. Doesn't go outside. Doesn't drive. Doesn't drink. Doesn't touch grass. Hey, let's go. Uh, how many we got? Two more? Okay, we can do that. We can do that, and I think that's going to be the end. Just getting these two floors done. Because we're not anywhere close to 70%. I think I would be playing this game for a long time. Probably till 2am if I keep going after this. So we're just going to get these two floors done, and then I'll be back eventually. I'm not going to give you a specific day. Because I don't know if I have any plans next Tuesday and stuff. Um... I know Ellie and I just texted today about, about some plans we want to make, but I don't know how soon they are in comparison to where we are. I think they were like later in April, so I think it's fine. Minecraft Legends is coming out soon. I think I'm going to be... I, if I like that game, I might be a Minecraft Legends streamer for a while. We'll see. If they add a bunch of DLC, though, I'm going to get pissed off for real. Stop adding a bunch of DLC to your game, please. Make it free DLC like Minecraft. That's the reason Minecraft and GTA and those games are big is because they get a bunch of free DLC people can just keep playing and then they rebuy the game or whatever. At least I'm not out here feeling my brain- <laughs> You feeling my brain signals? Listen, man. We'll talk about that after I turn 21. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh my gosh. For legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> then again, for re legal reasons, you can't prosecute someone for talking about smoking or doing anything because literally they could be lying. To seem cooler or to do a bit or whatever, like straight up. Never said anything about you, my G. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying anything about me either. I'm just, I'm talking about our other friend who's, um, Underage and hypothetically smoked or took edibles or something of the like. I'm just saying that if that person, you know, were to talk about it, you can't really prosecute them or do anything because there's no real proof. <laughs> Student of concern. I am an absolute academic weapon, bro. That's such a lie. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I skip all my classes. <laughs> uh, I skip important classes nowadays, too. Jesus. 
I swear to God, I'm gonna drop out. Yeah, I dude, I've said that like a hundred times. I can't wait when I actually do it. That's gonna be the day, boys. That's gonna be the day. If you guys sub with Twitch Prime, you'll push that day for closer, closer to where we are now. <laughs> Don't you have one of them get out of jail free cards anyway? Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's talking about the gold card. I don't think that gets you out of that. It can get you out of speeding tickets and stuff. Actually, it might get you out of minor drug offenses and stuff. Probably nothing major like a DUI, but I'd never drink and drive anyway. I never drink. I'm. Uh, I would never, uh, unless like, I go to Mexico or like London. I'm 19, so it's fine there, you know. Canada, Montreal. I can come to Montreal and drink. Yo, let's go. I can drink and you sit there and like be quiet and shut up and stop talking. Yeah, that'd be sick. That'd be awesome. I can't wait to come to Montreal. I'm sure one of these days my parents will just be like, yo, let's go to Montreal. And I'll be like, hey, remember when you said that and I wanted to go? And they'll be like, okay, I guess we'll take you. And then I'll come and then I'll move in with you and then I'll live in your cupboard. And then, uh, and then we'll stream and be best friends. And you'll pay rent and I won't. And that'll be awesome. Really, my whole life goal is living with someone and not paying rent. <laughs> Can't wait to carry Ari's ass back home after that. I will leave them on the side of the road. I'm not making you food. Why not? Don't you want me to try your, like, I don't know, whatever food you eat? Mac and cheese? Croissant, all that stuff. Yo, you spell Todd with two D's, by the way. It's Todd Chavez, not Todd Chavez. There we go. Is there anything easy we can clean around here? I say we go around and get the decorations, because I'm going to feel like I'm going to forget these. And I know that there's probably some I haven't done. If I've done all of them, then that means... We dip. There we go. Knew there'd be one. Ellie, thank you for the sub. Gifted a tier one sub to Ashley Marie. Drop out. That's crazy. That is crazy. They keep trying to convince me to let them move in with me. I, I don't need to convince anything. I don't have to convince anything because I am moving in with you. This is already a done deal, man. Like, we're not playing this game, alright? Listen, I said if you if you if you sub, it pushes the day that I would drop out one day closer. Or a little bit closer. Maybe it's three days. Who knows? But whenever I drop out, it'll be three days or one day or a little bit closer because of you, Ellie. Good job. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Should have just Venmoed me, honestly. <laughs> Actually, Ellie can't because he's Canadian. He's got the Canadian money. I don't think it Venmo works that way. So him gifting subs, that actually makes sense. That joke cost me seven cad. <laughs> Uh, what's a sub? You now no longer have, um... Oh, welcome back, Roth. You now no longer have ads, and... You get more channel points for watching, and... You have supported me. Well, not really, but Ellie has supported me. Alright, I think we're... I think we're... A sub is not a dom, that is true. I think we're about done, boys! I think we've done it. We've done, uh, we made a good amount of progress. We got 39%. Oh, come on. Well, we gotta get the 40%. <laughs> I just keep going hey, one more just a little bit more Let's just get that 40% so that we can feel good about ourselves There it is a good old 40% Good job, everybody. Thank you for watching. We've done good. How do I back out? How do I leave? How do I how do I leave? Are you really going off just one more video mom vibes? Yeah, exactly. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you for the sub again, Ellie. And, um, we will be back tomorrow. 
Oh, and you, yeah, you can use emotes as a sub. I'm gonna add some more sub perks soon, hopefully, and some other stuff. I'm gonna update a bunch of stuff soon. I hope I will drop out eventually. A little bit closer to that day because of Ellie. That's about it. We are gonna be back with Power Wash probably uh, soon. I won't give a specific day, but if you wanna know, check my schedule on my Twitch channel. It is always there. Twitch.tv slash RDA slash schedule. I think that's all it is. Um... I will be here tomorrow for some uh, duck game with Bond, Roth, Ellie, um, and that's about it. We got some cool stuff coming up. I will. Uh, I'll see you in the next next vod YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. A uh, goodbye.